Welcome everybody to Root the TTRPG. Welcome on in. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to the show. Uh, we've got some stuff to do before we get started today. Uh, last session, uh, I totally, this was completely on me. I completely forgot to do advancements for our characters. So I thought it would be good if we started with that uh, this week. So that we could explain how that's done for everybody and um, say how, how that all works. Uh, because that's kind of how your characters uh, progress. That's how, you, that's how you advance. That's how you get more uh, XP, basically, to spend on different abilities and stuff. And it'd be a good idea for us to do that. Um, if, if you all look at your character sheets, you should see that you have drives on your character sheets. And your drives are basically how you get XP. And you have two drives. And that means that you could have gotten up to two uh, advancements. Um, every session you can get up to two. So, um, looking at your drives, uh, you can see that each one has uh, different requirements. For example, our thief uh, has freedom and greed. You advance when you free a group of denizens from oppression or advance when you secure a serious payday or treasure. So, why don't we start with our thief, Faylin? So, I totally definitely secured a serious payday, did I not, last session? You did, you did. You you uh, managed to pickpocket some, uh, some fighters and some wary uh bystanders of their of their valuables yes absolutely so that being said you have a few choices uh of how you you can spend your uh advancements um and you should have a few different options on your character sheets uh, but here's some examples uh you can take a plus one to a stat to a max of plus two you can take a new move from your playbook to a max of five moves from your own playbook. You can take a new move from another playbook, a max of two moves from one of those other playbooks. Uh, you can take up to two new weapon skills to a max of seven total. You can take up to two new roguish feats to a max of six. You can add one box to any one harm track, or you can take up to two new connections. Any idea what you'd like to do? Hmm. Um, probably roguish feats, I feel, actually. Might not be bad for a thief. Yeah, because I don't have pick lock or acrobatics or anything. Um, so you said we're able to take up to two with an advancement? Um, hmm. So roguish feats, you can take up to two new roguish feats, yes. <gasps> Yay, okay, so definitely pick lock. Uh, and I'll take... Hmm. Maybe acrobatics. Let's do that. Okay. Sounds good. Who wants to go next on their advancements? Any takers? Okay. Soren? Uh, I farted a lot. That <laughs> is an accomplishment for many people. <laughs> sure. I call that my toolbox. Expelling and I was your bowels. Using a lot of stuff in my toolbox. Uh, so I guess my drives are greed and ambition, right? Yeah. So advance when you secure a serious payday or treasure, and ambition mm -hmm. is advanced when you increase your reputation with any faction. Well, I didn't do. I don't. I think I did the greed. I would. Ag I, I would agree with that. He yeah, helped. absolutely. Yeah. I started it. I'm a riot starter. I would uh, uh, greed with that. <sighs> Agreed. A fart starter. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> my, ideas, my ideas are very potent. Uh, I, yeah, sure. Okay, so I get to do page two stuff. Roguish feats, or what was the other one? Oh, there's a bunch of different advancements you can take. So you've got, oh. Oh, uh, yeah. you can do a plus Statistics. one to a stat. You can mm -hmm. uh, up to a max of two. You can take a new move from your playbook. You can take a new move from another playbook. You can take mm. up to two new weapon skills. You can take up to two new roguish feats. You can add one box to any one harm track. Or you can take up to two new connections. 
The harm tracks are on the second page of the character sheet. Okay, let's see. Under that little plus for advancements. Ah, okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Attempt the roguish feat involving mechanism lock. I'm pretty sure the roll cunning instead of finesse. <gasps> oh. Oh no, my finesse is good. Um. Hmm. What is blind side? If you don't mind me asking, let me see. I'm trying to have a sure document. So I was wondering that too. <laughs> blind side. Hmm. Is it when I fought from the flank? That's a good guess, but I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, roguish feats are on page 69 of the rule book, and blindside is when you backstab, murder, sneak attack, or sucker punch. And the risks to blindsiding are drawing unwanted attention, leaving evidence, or plunging into danger. Nope, that is our fire kittens. Um, well... Poop. You know what? Oh, big pockets take two extra boxes of depletion. If we were playing this longer, I'd go for that. Um, let's let's boost up my charm. I, I get one statistic, right? I'm, I don't want to be negative. Okay. Sounds yeah, good. So zero now instead of negative. Awesome. Nettle. It still has negative one next to charm, though. Why? Uh, that's because that's what started. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's what it started. At. Okay. Um, Nettle has clean paws, which is advanced when you accomplish an illicit criminal goal while maintaining a believable veneer of innocence, which I would say Nettle did multiple times last episode. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So you, that's one advancement. Do you think you were chaotic? Did you topple a tyrannical or dangerously overbearing figure or order? I don't think I toppled anything yet. Okay, I like the yet. That was good. Word. That was good. So where do I so where do I put that advancement in my reputation? So at the right below all those drives, you see there's a list of uh, different advancements there. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we can do some stuff there. There's a whole bunch of different options for advancements. Um, oh, okay. In the core rulebook, uh, the advancement section is on page 171. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, your choices are on 175. My bad. Um, you can do a plus one to a stat. You can take a new move from your playbook. You can take a new move from another playbook. You can take up to two new weapon skills. You can take up to two new roguish feats. You can add a box to any one harm track. Or you can take up to two new connections. Ooh. I think I would like to make connections. Awesome. Um, And I just get to pick which one of these? Like protector, partner, watcher, friend, peer, family? That is correct. I would like Watcher. Okay. And maybe... So would this just be like, I would make a connection with a random person that's a Watcher, partner, friend, or... Mm Mm-hmm. You can decide on who they are. You can basically just throw them in there. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna do... I'm going to do family. You know what? Nettlespur's got a lot of aunts and uncles, and I probably got a useful one in there. Okay, maybe there's one here in Goliath's Grove. (gasps) I think since we're here, it would make sense that (laughs) these people are in Goliath's Grove. Yes, Uncle Vinny. Okay, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Sticking with the theme. Okay. (laughs) She's going to be like, I really do have an Uncle Vinny. What the hell? (laughs) That's next. What do you I, mean? I, feel like I wasn't joking. lying. I, feel like I, 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 I didn't actually see that coming. That was a surprise. Um. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, oh, I'll go next. I, I was gonna say I could go because I don't. I actually didn't do anything. <laughs> Armin, Armin didn't get to set anything on fire, uh, and didn't really throw themselves into like. Well, I have like arsonist and daredevil, so arsonist is wrecking something. I don't think we really wrecked Didn't you anything. Blow up the fireplace? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we made a big are... fire, but I don't think it was, I don't think it's considered like blowing mm. up something. Yeah, I didn't wreck the fireplace. So, yeah, and I didn't really fling myself uh, into uh, danger because mm-hmm. I have such good babysitters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think this time around, I actually don't get an advancement, right? Okay, so you're looking at a different thing. Um, oh. 
So you are, uh, you need to look at the drives. Um, yeah. So you've and got moves. chaos and infamy. So, oh. advance when you topple a tyrannical or dangerously overbearing figure or order. I think you're still in the same boat, however. Um, okay. And infamy is advanced when you decrease your reputation with any faction. And we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Drac. Yeah. Um, so my drives are... Justice, advance when you achieve justice for someone wronged by a powerful, wealthy, or high-status individual. Which I don't think we've, we haven't done anything like that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and protection, name your ward, advance when you protect them for, from significant danger or when time passes and your ward is safe. And I'd picked, I believe I picked Nettle as my ward. Um, yes, I had. Um, and Nettle's still alive. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty deep pass. Can you protect him? Considering what I got into, I think yeah. it would be yeah. an just, achievement. Either sure, either let's give it to you. Why not? Oh, time passes, and I feel like Why not? time has passed, and they're safe. Protecting also. an opossum, opossum from significant danger is really, you know, pretty arbitrary. Uh, okay, so sure. Okay. Um, hey, look. I think I'm gonna take two new weapon skills. Okie dokie. Because um, it looks like we might be getting into a fight, so I, I might need to show I some moves. I don't know what you're like talking governor. about. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, two new weapon skills. So, uh, the weapon skills. <laughs> weapon skills are cleave, infuse senses. Disarm, harry a group, improvise a weapon, parry, quick shot, storm a group, trick shot, or vicious strike. Um, I think I'm gonna go storm a group and disarm. Excellent. Okay. Villigan. I have chaos and thrills. Now, I want to argue that advance when you topple a tyrannical or dangerously overbearing figure or order. Now, when that bar fight started and I saw the bird and I was like, that's the eerie. I'm going to pin it on them. And I tried to pin it on them to make it make them be arrested. I would argue I was attempting to topple a tyrannical or overbearing figure in my mind. <laughs> hmm. You definitely attempted it. Uh, I think I think since we've only got three episodes, why don't we go ahead and give it to you on that one? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how Villigan operates. <laughs> um, I'd like to take weapon skills. Um, I think I'd like to take uh, quick shot and improvise. Okie dokie. Excellent. All righty. Now, on the last episode of Root, our group met up uh, with the rest of you uh, while they were on their way to Galila's Grove, and it was an interesting journey. We met some interesting characters amongst our group. We had some very scoundrel-like cats who were interested in science and fire, although they could be interchanged in either place. We have a rabbit that seems to be the sensible one amongst the group whenever possible, which is difficult in this group of vagabonds. We have a possum that is a very fast talker and seems to be the group representative whenever necessary and whenever necessary to give a distraction, which seems to be something that could be very helpful for our group. We have a tinker that seems to rely on several odiferous glands when in tight scrapes and potentially, yes, and uh, <laughs> will, without hesitation, try to make anything that the group might require. And we have a thief that has clearly shown off 
her ability to pick pockets in even the most troubling situations, including once the group arrived in Galila's Grove, a place that seems to be, well, under quite a few strange situations at the moment. A visitor from the Marquisate, Marquisate, is here in town giving out supplies while a venerable fox as the governor doesn't seem to appreciate them too much as in, and has in fact spoken with our possum friend to try and coerce them in a not so obvious fashion that um, this representative from the Marquisate would be, well, not so welcome in the town and might be very grateful if this representative were gone by whatever means necessary. While the group decided to rest after their journey, they headed to Alpine's Sublime Speakeasy where a fight was taking place outside. A rather rambunctious eagle was causing some problems and trying to force upon the people support for the Woodland Alliance, a group of rebels who do not appreciate either the Airy Dynasty or the Marquisate. The fight was altered by our players and the eagle was locked up and the sheriff seemed rather interested in our group had a bit of a chat with them and they headed into the speakeasy to try and well rest their weary feet they had some horn wine which happens to be a local liquor that is fairly powerful. And several of the group were inebriated. Longfoot was very forthcoming with several uh, past experiences. Nettle hurt herself as she tripped over nearly everything in the speakeasy after having a few sips of horn wine, and Armin was happily creating large fires in the hearth and fireplace. And when we left our group, Longfoot had just spoken about a previous incident involving the murder of a governor for another clearing to another patron of the establishment. It was honestly very bloody. I, I now I think about it, I probably shouldn't tell go into detail. Are you are you like sensitive to the gore? I can tell I can describe exactly what how it happened. Like I one of my blade got stuck in one of the vertebrae and I had to This is really what, cool. What, what, what do you mean? What? This is really, it's really cool. I thought you'd have like a more excited expression. Um, what? Which which clearing was it? it um, I, I think it was. No, no. I think I think the, you need to take care of him now. I, 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 before, excuse me, my fine friend. I uh, think uh, my uh, friend's had too many drinks. Are you talking about that play we were in again? Not that silly play. play. Yeah, that's a stupid story Long all over foot. again. Uh, people yeah. are gonna think you actually murdered someone. It was I, just I a mean, rendition yeah. of maybe, the Titanic. Can you keep it down yeah. a little bit though still? You know? Titan um several uh guards in the establishment are making their way over to you. Wait, what what where's the arsonists? Both of them. You let them go by themselves? I didn't do it wasn't me. 
Um, there's I a fire. I think I'm gonna be sick. There's a large fire. Um, <laughs> I made science happen. <sighs> you see? I, I, uh, we leave. I think it's time we go, Bestie. I think so, it's time we leave. I, I haven't finished my. Take a fire. Yeah, well, I'm I want to think fire. about your high school Do play. It. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna want to a fire. I'm gonna try. To, I'm Feel gonna it. try to drag Longfoot away from the bar. Feel <laughs> it. Wait, no, don't you they were, they were hear the rest of it? And he's like, just yelling at the guy he was talking to. No, like, no, no sorry about that. He's I big on mean. the glory days. Big on the glory days. Um, hey, hey, you can see the Grove Guard approaching you. They are wearing uh, the colors of Galila's Grove. They have... Uh, um, you can see Airy Dynasty symbols uh, on their clothing, and they're of various uh, various species as they uh, are making their way over. One of them uh, is a um, is a fox that looks like their whiskers are a bit scraggly. You know, they're kind of pointing in all different directions and. The, their nose is a bit runny, like there's just like a little bit of snot hanging out. And um, one of the ears is notched, and this guard is walking over. And they look a little bit strange. Which one of you would like to make a roll for me? Who would like to be the first person to try and read a no. tense situation? I'm reading the bottom of this table. I'm too drunk, I think. <laughs> That's uh, right. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, do it. Go ahead. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Rolling with cunning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On a five, <laughs> that is a miss. I'm gonna mention, mention she negative one. So, Armin, uh, you're trying to observe what's going on right now. You see these guards approaching uh, your friends. You can see that they're uh, they're trying to speak with the guards. And I think, let's see, how can I complicate this situation? Um, hmm. Don't. <laughs> you guys not? You know. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think it looks like the guards are about to fight with your friends, Armin. <gasps> Armin, Armin, not like that. Armin, Armin, take Longfoot drink. You walk over to Longfoot, who's a little bit tipsy in the chair you pick up the horn wine that longfoot has what, what, what are you doing what are you i'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the fire no, no. hey i, no. I haven't finished that i haven't finished it yes i'm no. throwing it over the fire. fire throw it in the fire throw it in the I'm fire helping. Ah. Yes. A huge fireball erupts in the yeah! fireplace, and yeah! I would like you. I would like you to please. Mm -hmm. I think this is probably going to be trust fate. When you trust fate to get through trouble, roll with luck. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, on a nine, when you trust fate, you scrape by or barrel through. The GM will tell you what it costs you. Okay, so the fireball erupts, and I think it catches. There's like a there's like some fire that sort of uh, bursts forth from the hearth as you throw this extremely alcoholic drink uh, into the fireplace, and it catches onto you, Armin. Uh, I think what we're going to say is you can choose. I will let you choose either depletion or injury to take on your harm track. 
I'm in, gonna go with uh depletion. Okay, some of your stuff, like one of your little pouches or something, just whoosh, catches fire and falls uh, off into the hearth. That ooh, that's filled with that's filled with flint. <laughs> you can see like the guards uh basically lose interest in the conversation that was happening over by the bar and they start to head over towards you armin billy, uh, billy we can, gotta go. are you there billy. as well billy we gotta go billy we should go we um, should go um, right now we should go okay okay bye let's go hey what do you think you're else? doing uh, uh, Girls, actually one thing extra thing that ah. had got to do last week because uh when i drank i had to choose two things um ah, and yes. something um, that I shouldn't have and insult someone. And with the guards, I think this is the perfect time to insult oh, one good. of the guards. <laughs> so I think, like, I see the guards turn away. I'm like, wait, wait, wait a second. And I look, point at the guy I was telling the story to and goes, the guy that I, the, that, like, the governor I, I cut, like, killed, uh, he was a complete worse. He just, he was, like, real, real weak, real, real ugly as well. Kind of like that guy. I'm going to point at the biggest guards yeah. I can as so, like, make I'm, it very clear. I'm desperately <laughs> trying to put my grubby little paw over <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Like, oh, oh. I think we should go. I don't feel good. Several of the guards <laughs> seem to be following uh, Armin and Villigan as they take off. Uh, we see, like, clouds of smoke sort of rushing behind them as they take off. And Nettle, you are by Longfoot. Uh, Ace, yeah. where are you and Soren as this is happening? Uh, Soren's at the table. He tried to go under the table because mm -hmm. he was uh, trying to unscrew screws at the table. So if they run after him, the, the table falls in their path. The bar? I'd probably be standing like the bar? <laughs> I thought we were at a table. Okay, we're at a table. Oh, I didn't know. I, I thought it's we okay. got drinks from the bar. <laughs> it's okay. We're uh, at yeah. a table. I don't think we specified. <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay. So, I would like dismantle. a few things to happen then. So, you are trying to dismantle what is going yes. on? Uh, okay. Uh, do you have something that does that? Is this a move that you have? Yes. Awesome. It is. So, let us have you uh do, do, do when you dismantle a broken or disabled piece of equipment or machinery hmm mm -hmm. what table's age the wood is old a little bit of knock knock here and a knock screw screw there toolbox of gods i think this is closer to a roguish feat i would say this is a disabled device okay so i have both <laughs> why don't you go ahead and try and attempt a roguish feat with finesse. Here we go. Come on, baby. Give it to Soren an idea. <laughs> oh, God. That was a wet one. Okay. A five. Unfortunately, while you were trying to take the table apart, um, you can't my quite knee. get the thing undone. And absolutely, you sort of bring your wrench or spanner down for our British friends, um, uh, down on the foot of one of your other party members. I think it's going to either be Longfoot or Ace here. Oh. Um, whose foot was that? <laughs> it was, I can repair it later, I promise. Okay, <sighs> I'm going to roll a die and let's find out. It is Ace. Ace, uh, take an injury. Uh, you don't need all your toes for balance. That little one is just there for fashion. Let's go. Mm. Whack, I had the horn wine last time and I rolled a 10. Mm. So I'm able to choose up to three things. Are the the guards that are chasing after Villigan and, uh, and Armin, are they far ahead of me or are they kind of like... Oh, they ran off. They ran out of the bar. Oh, damn they ran it. out of the gonna... speakeasy. Okay. Well, are there, are there any other, like, guards inside the pub still, or...? Uh, yeah, definitely. It looks like one is squaring up with Longfoot at the moment. I am gonna go ahead... I'm As feeling Nettle really sick. Nettle is doing this on Longfoot's I'm face. I'm gonna projectile vomit on this guard. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Someone is just gonna be like... I think that this is going to probably be trusting your fate is probably the closest thing. 
Unless you're trying to use something else. Um. Yeah, that's probably trusting fate. <laughs> yep. Okay. So the pain from the ha the the hit on your foot made you projectile vomit. Well, I was feeling sick already, and then you oh. farted, and then oh, you yeah. hit my and then foot. Then I hit you in the foot. Nice. <laughs> Combo breaker. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is basically how your divinity games go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh it's amazing how these situations just transfer themselves to other TTRPGs. <laughs> uh, oh, uh. Okay. Yeah, and Zorin's just watching it go overhead in a stream, like just. Yeah, it's pretty oh, horrific. Oh god. Oh, that is long, but don't look. That's horrible. Oh Wait, was yeah. that peas? What the hell were you eating before? Did you I feel a little better you puke now. all over the what? guard, yeah. and it's you see this large, uh, I think probably, uh, uh, probably a, um, uh, uh. Not, a, not an eagle, but I'm going to say probably like a large owl, like a barn owl kind of look. Just get covered. Is he blind now? And the guard... <laughs> oh, gross. The guard sort of looks around for a second or tries to look around. <laughs> and on a 10, with trust your fate, fortune favors the bold. Your panache also earns you a fleeting opportunity. I think the guard... <laughs> oh God. And immediately <laughs> runs out of the speakeasy away from the situation. Guy moment. <laughs> Victory! Good job there. I knew you had it in you. Or maybe I didn't you know you had it in go. you. You have a yeah. lot in you. Are you ready to go? Should I take a quill now while you are distracted? Or? Soren, get out of here. Longfoot, get, let's get to it. Are you fine? Hop Hop out out you. Okay. okay, 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 I'm good. I'm okay. You don't have to hold me. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I can sure. Walk in a okay, line. sure. Yeah. Oh, I really do feel better, though. That's great. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, what are we doing again? Our, even. our four, our four remaining group members begin to walk mm -hmm. out of the speakeasy. Hmm. Meanwhile, <laughs> Armin and Villigan. Now I'm going to call you a pukepine. Perfect. <laughs> you, on the other hand, have rushed out of the bar, out into the town, and um, <clears throat> there are several guards chasing after you as you rush outside. What do you do? Uh, Armin, where are we running to? Armin, don't know. Armin, try make fire for distraction to help friends, and now we running hey, from guards, and and now we running. Uh, hmm. I think we should go back inside. That's what? where the magic liquid was, where what? we can make more fires. But we got we got guards. Billy, we... <gasps> Billy. Okay, <gasps> we give them the run Billy, around. Billy, we run around. Uh, Armin, Armin, Billy, Armin. Bombs. Bombs. Fire Do you have any bombs? No, you have. You got the thing with uh, the 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 thingy, you know, and I light it, and then I light it, and then we throw it and okay. make bombs. I, I have, without maybe his express permission, stolen a lot of droppings from Longfoot. I heard they're very flammable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get, out I'm gonna get Flynn shot. out of pack. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna Flynn. I'm gonna take my slingshot out and um, a bag of the rabbit droppings and the vial of this alcohol. And I'm gonna try and concoct essentially like a little Molotov turd cocktail that I'm gonna slingshot at the guards. You're gonna <laughs> slingshot the guards. Excellent. Okay, 
So you see that there's uh, several guards that make their way out of the speakeasy, sort of looking around. You've positioned yourselves uh, nearby some of the shacks. They're sort of ramshackle around this place, and the um, you know there there's a bit of a there's a bit of a hill, like there's a bit of an incline on either side. There's a river that's sort of coming down from a waterfall with a water wheel spinning uh, for a sawmill uh, off in the distance. And the speakeasy is kind of situated probably on like a, uh, you know, like a small uh, uh, rest, basically, like in the hill, like just a, a flattened portion of that hill. And you find yourselves, I guess, out of the speakeasy in between two of these shacks uh, that people are, are quite obviously living in. As you position yourself for this Altercation. <laughs> Armin, Armin, take Flint out. And... Take the Flint out. No! Okay, I make fire for you and light it. And Armin, take her claws and. I've dipped the droppings into the sparks. alcohol and I put it in the slingshot waiting for the sparks to catch. I okay. make fire. So you are trying to light the rabbit turds <laughs> on fire. Before yes. you place them in the slingshot. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to need a roll from you. Uh, let's see. So, it sounds like, Armin, you are trying to help Villigan here. And yeah. Villigan, you will be trying to make a weapon move, probably. Is what I'm gathering. Yeah, it could be either quick shot or improvise, maybe an improvised. Improvised weapon. sounds about right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're getting help from Armin. Armin, you can go ahead and mark a uh, an exhaustion. And okay. Villigan, you will get a plus one to your improvised yeah. weapon roll, which is with cunning. Okay. This is bad. <laughs> I got a minus one to cunning. <laughs> oh, me too. Ooh. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, oh, so uh, you added a plus one to that roll, right? So it's a seven. So this is a seven. That's that's just barely good enough. So yes! you have created rabbit fire pellet poop to ah! use as ammunition. However, the weapon also has a weakness. Let's see. What do we think oh, the no. weakness is here? Uh, uh, I think we're going to say negative tags. Fragile, shoddy, no, slow, no. <laughs> Unwieldy seems correct. Take a minus one to all weapon moves, basic moves, or skills made with this weapon. Mark exhaustion <laughs> to ignore this effect. Ooh, um, it is fire poop that you're trying to hold with your fingers to fire right. from the slingshot. Now, when do I get to use my nature things? Because it says clear your exhaustion track when you use needlessly destructive or damaging methods to solve a problem. And I would argue that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're yeah. about to find out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I will take an exhaustion point to ignore the, the effect then. Okay. All righty. So, you fire. The uh, the pellet, the guards are sort of like looking around, and it just sort of lands right into the chest of one of the guards. This horrible smell and fire poop is set alight the guard, and the guard is sort of running around trying to put himself out as... Uh, two of the other guards over there rush uh, over to you. Uh, Armin, it worked. It worked beautifully. We made it. Well, I think Armin, but, Armin, think we're still in trouble. There's two more, and I don't have enough rabbit poop for two more. Uh, uh, we could run. Or, Armin, let's set this house on fire. A distraction! Excellent! Yes, let's set the house on fire. Armin, Armin setting house on fire. Okay, hold on. Armin making sparks. This took a lot <laughs> less time than I anticipated. Faster, okay. Armin! They're coming! They're coming! Armin, Armin, not too close. Armin going as fast as, 
I, I get my candle lighter out, and I'm, it's my. I got a big candle lighter with me, by the way. I haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, <laughs> I get my candle lighter out, and I'm desperately trying to light. Okay, now Armin, are you trying to help again, or do you have something that can do this? Uh, do what? Start a fire. Yeah, I got a big bag of flint. And I got my steel claws, and I make fire with it. Okay, so it sounds like Villigan is trying to help you then. So, okay. uh, Villigan, if you would like to help Armin, you can spend another exhaustion and give uh, Armin a plus one. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Armin, Absolutely. let's see. What okay. are you trying to do? Do you have a, a move or anything, a weapon skill or anything that can help you here? Arsonist. Okay, arsonist, when you wreck something with flagrantly dangerous means, explosives, uncontrolled flame, etc., roll with luck instead of might. So go ahead and make a luck roll. It's okay. still the wreck something move. Okay, on an eight, you're imprecise and dangerous. But I get plus one, right? That's really <laughs> helping. Uh, yeah, I helped. I helped. I helped. Yeah. You got a plus one. A nine, unfortunately, is the same thing for you. Uh, okay. But you are imprecise and dangerous. You cause collateral damage, attract attention, or, or end up in a bad spot. The GM's oh. choice. So, I think what happens is mm. you get the house started. Like, there's like a spark of flame that starts to light up. And then Villigan comes in, and she's lighting another spot up, and stuff catches on fire too quickly. Fire! Yeah! You are now surrounded by fire. Last time this happened, you lost all your fur. Uh, and I. We I'm really should have one eye left. And you need the other one to see. Uh, we yeah. should go. Okay. Try. Can we run? Is there anywhere to run to? There's a lot of flames around you. I think. I think maybe you're going to have to probably try to tell me which move you would like to do. If you might yeah, have devil. a roguish feat, or if you yeah. have. A, uh, or a trust fate Daredevil. that you'd like to use? Daredevil. Um, we'd like to use Daredevil. You're at your luckiest yeah. when you go into danger without hesitation, when you dive into a dangerous situation without forethought or planning. Treat yourself as having luck armor. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> With one box of wear. When you would mark another box of wear and all its boxes are full, the luck armor automatically goes away once the danger has passed. And the next time you would have luck armor, you gain it as if it was brand new with clear boxes. Okay, absolutely. Uh, you don't even have to make a roll. It sounds like... Uh, sounds like you don't even have to make a roll for this. Okay. So, we see the flame sort of erupting around you. You've been in these kinds of situations before. You look yeah. down low. Maybe there's a place that you can sneak through, and sure enough, you see it. You see that there is a place where you and Armin can crawl through underneath uh. the houses. You can hear people yelling, oh, my house is on fire! My house is on fire! <laughs> yes, it is! Be thankful! It's Let's been go. fire! You're welcome! Okay, bye! There's, like, the sound of some, like, the fire brigade, you know, like, ding! in the background as uh, <laughs> as we see our two scoundrels diving low underneath the house, <laughs> crawling elbow over elbow as they are just rushing underneath the house, dirt all over their faces <laughs> as the flames are falling around them. Somehow, with their luck armor, they survive and rush through to the other side. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of our group emerges from the speakeasy to see two houses <laughs> on fire in the distance. Oh, good God. Um, what on earth have they done now? Um, I think they went that way. Um, yeah. <clears throat> should we go that way or should we go an another way? Uh, I don't um, know. You want to go to jail? <laughs> no, not particularly. <laughs> but my to, Uncle Joe's in jail. He's kind of nice. Quickly, and I, uh, yeah, we should probably find him. Um, okay, somebody yeah, read a tense situation. <laughs> Okay, that's cunning, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, if anybody would like to help, you can help. Uh, oh, well, I'm too drunk. I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, an eleven. No, I crit. 
Yeah. Excellent. Or shit. A, a strong hit. So, when you try to read a tense situation on a 10 plus, you can ask three questions. Um, okay, first qu- Oh, I have specific questions. Hold up. Let mm -hmm. me look at it. It's under basic moves. Yes. And yes. read a tense right. situation. About halfway down. Whoop. There it is. Okay. What's our best way out of this sh situation? Oh. What do you mean by out of this situation? <laughs> um, uh, to not die in a fire gnome. Uh, what's our best way to uh, not get caught? Uh, the best way to get out without getting caught? Blame someone else. Damn. It worked well okay. for you earlier. <laughs> or what? It worked well for you earlier. That's, that is very true. Um... Who is most Vaughn? No, that's not it. Uh, what should I be on the lookout for? Oh, uh, anybody observing your group, I think, because your group is oh, new God. to town. And um, you can see that there's probably, like, um, I mean, there's everybody's going to notice this fire as two houses are on fire right now. Uh, okay. and it's a small, it's it's not that big of a town. It's just, it's a clearing. Um, All right. So right. I think being on the lookout for anybody that's interested in your group. Okay, and who is the biggest threat? Hmm. Yeah, I think you would see. Oh, this is this is a toss up for me. I'm gonna roll for it. The governor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Soren just. Spreads uh, his legs and raises his hammer up, and he's just like, <gasps> and he looks at Nettles and he smiles, and as she's like, <laughs> he's just like, the Everybody governor did back it. Away. It was him the whole time. This guy was to kill the cat lady, and this is his plan the whole time. Persuade an NPC, right? or actually, I'm sorry, trick an NPC. To get what you want. Are you want. yelling at the governor? No, I'm, I'm yelling at. There's another person that's a threat. Whoever's the other threat, I'm pointing at. No. Uh, the other way around. I'm. Because are we helping the governor or are we not? I can't remember. You, we're helping you, the governor. We're governor. helping the governor. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, the so, I, I, whoever the other so threat I didn't, is. So I didn't tell you who the other threat was, uh, but I would just say that the governor is probably watching the situation. Okay. There are right. other people around. Okay. The governor did it! <laughs> Trick an NPC, please. Roll with cunning. Would anybody like to help? No! Absolutely not! So, I was be else else else. so you can... Yeah. So, yeah, like the awkward little sidestep. Like, I don't know him. You can interfere <laughs> as the other like, option. You can, can interfere. I? Yes. I would love to. You can do a minus two to <laughs> Soren's roll. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. you spend an, <laughs> mark an exhaustion, and this is a Done. minus two. Soren. Okay. <laughs> Soren, I need another cunning roll, and you have oh, a minus fuck. two on, on this result. Okay. It's still a partial success. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not what it looks like. It, wait, what? We're supposed Let's to be helping just him? Let's go. Wait, that's so, the good one or the bad one? Is it a good one or the bad one? He's just like, you, shut your trap. <laughs> when you try to trick an NPC, uh, on a hit, they take the bait and do what you want. You can see several people. The governor. What? The governor lit a what? house on fire? Yeah. Uh, the uh, they take the bait and and do what you want. However, on a seven to nine, they can instead choose one. They hesitate, they stumble, or they overreact. Hmm. Wait, oh, the good news is he doesn't know that I'm with you, Nettles. <laughs> no I'm standing saw. right next to you, Soren. I think well, what you're going to do here <laughs> is I think that they uh, they stumble and you gain a critical opportunity. You're grouped here. <laughs> Yes. Let's get the hell out of here. Now! Yeah. Find the girls and go! Uh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I have God. a question real quick. How do I get rid of exhaustion? By you, doing a rogue's feet? Rogue well, feet? there's there's a few ways that you can deal with your uh with your harm. Uh basically okay, harm sheet. Yeah, there's there's various ways you can you can deal with it. And exhaustion the horn wine was one of them. 
Um, <laughs> the horn wine uh, does have a special rejuvenative property. Um, but there's a few ways that you can clear it. Uh, to clear exhaustion, you clear exhaustion by fulfilling your nature or by getting some good rest, sleeping, recovering, and or, and or taking a break. Getting a nice mm. rest in a real bed is the best way to recover exhaustion. Okay, never mind. Um, yes, let's go. Uh, yep. find the I'm halfway quick. gone right now, Soren. Catch up. Yeah. Wait, I'll go. Uh, my hood's and he turns up to the, the side. It's like a villager that's face. like this. Did the governor really do it? Yeah. <laughs> so, Nettle oh, yes. has already rushed off, you see? You see, um, like, rainbow sand falling behind her okay, as so she I'm runs right off. Right after okay, her. Can, I, can I add details? Right after her. What Soren did was, let's say he found someone next to him. Okay, since they slid to the side, mm -hmm. he and it was the NPC. Maybe he went behind NPC and did go and I did it. And uh, and by the time, so for my critical whatever to get away, I push that person forward and be like, Yeah, the governor did it. And he's just gonna run after him. There's just a badger <laughs> that's like, uh, Yeah, he looks just uh, like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm out of there. And you all <laughs> rush off. Along. Yeah, <laughs> out um, of the danger. For now, ah. as the fire brigade is like in the background, they've all got like buckets they're handing off to each other, and eventually get like they get like a hose attached to a pump. You hear like ding, 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 ding. <sighs> Thank goodness the governor made the fire, right? <laughs> okay, oh boy, I I'm reaching the point of tipsy where I'm tired. Um, I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, I just where, forgot where everything. Else? <laughs> okay, your breath smells like my farts, and you, what? Um, yeah, me. you talk too much when you're drunk. Uh, where, 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 where are Billy going? Oh, like you can't hear you. <laughs> we need to talk about your big mouth when you're drinking. No more drinks in this town. Yeah. You hear me? No. no. Okay, I mean, I didn't think I was that drunk, I, mean, I think. Uh, you literally told someone you murdered someone in the plane of day in front of a bunch of strangers. Hey, I had to pretend yeah. like you were in the plane Titanic. Yep, and you said... Uh, nobody yeah. even should... murders anyone in Titanic, they just panicked! Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you about the play? School? Did I tell you about the play? My high school plane? I did, I was in the Titanic, so that's oddly, oddly very on the nose. Uh, you were in a play, the Titanic? Did you murder someone? Yeah. Long time? No, 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 no. No, it's a happens. separate thing. Um, yeah, it was a separate Who'd you play in the, who were you in the play? Um, you probably was... drowned. Are we just like, we're having this conversation in front of like a burning building? <laughs> no, you guys, you, I would assume that okay. you've run off quite a bit, you know? Okay. Can Soren yeah. attack a, a teammate? <laughs> sure, it's a personal choice. Soren just takes his hammer and he just taps the back of his head in the right location and see if he can knock him out. Uh, Longfoot? Who, Longfoot? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> uh, hmm. So he's like sneaking while uh, Nettles is talking. This he's is just a like, roguish feat, I would believe. Yeah, I'm trying to dismantle him. So um, I actually played Rose. Do you we have Blindside? Uh, Not yet. I actually played Rose. We didn't have enough um, okay. people to, in, for the player to stand up wearing a, a wig and a uh, dress. It was honestly, I felt very flat, flattering. I have honestly, wearing that dress. I can mm. improvise a you plan and knock him in the back of the head. You probably look really good in a dress. I, I think I had quite I a good figure. I think um, that this is going to be. Change a bit, but. This is probably actually going to be a trust fate, I think, Soren. Okay, I'll do that. All right, that's a harm. Right? This is roll with luck. Okay, so you're just going to be hurting Soren everybody like this today, huh? Behind him and look at Nettles and just smiles real we, big and he just raises his hammer. We just see Soren <laughs> like. Mm. He's going to be in the mouth like, don't worry. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> okay. You scrape by or barrel through. The GM will tell you what it costs you. Okay. So, uh, Soren, you take an injury as. Oh, God. I'm sorry, not Soren. Uh, Longfoot, oh. you take an injury as. <laughs> yeah. Raising up behind you, your skunk friend, Soren, bashes you over the head with his hammer. Oh, no. It, he's gonna look down at him and he's gonna be like, "Am I knocked out?" Or just uh, how? Oh it no, you've <laughs> taken one injury. I'm just gonna say that the cost here is the fact that you didn't knock him out. I didn't. No. 
when I have to try again. All right. No, Daddy. Stop it. Stop it. Longfoot turns around and he's going to just punch it in the nose. <laughs> just square in the nose. Okay. Oh, my God. I think we're going to say, Longfoot, you get an opportunity here to either make a weapon move, a weapon skill move, or um, hmm, I think this is going to be a trust fate otherwise. Uh, I would do weapon. Or if you have a roguish um, feat, that might help. Oh, no, I'm not very roguish. Uh, I'll do uh, a weapon move. Okay. So um, he's raising his hand. He's like, Fiddly do not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. So we might, right? Uh, you, which weapon skill are you using? Might, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did um, try and hit him in the back of the head with a hammer. hammer. <laughs> Look, I know my strength. Um, <laughs> you don't know yours. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Vicious Strike. <laughs> okay. So, uh, roll with might, please. This could be uh, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All it's right. not bad. The seven. Okay, so you exchange blows. However, <sighs> uh, Soren suffers serious harm and cannot what? mark where on their armor to block it. So uh, <laughs> you take two injury, Soren, as okay, from one that... foot punches you right in the noodle. From Hi guys. What, standing what behind was me. that for? Hi guys. Oh, uh, what what are you doing? Why are you fighting no. each other? Can we? Can we just go? Look at him. You. you Stop hitting other. each other. I you know what? I've situation. had about enough. I need another drink. Hi, Nettie. <gasps> Nettie, yes, welcome back. Get more I'm of the drink. I'm not dead. I'm yes. glad you're not dead. He hit me. Can you? Somebody stand in between these two. I'm sick of the nonsense. You have, Look, he, you have he bickering hit me. like you children. It. You saw it. Sorry, oh, you hit him first. It. I don't no, even I... want to hear it. Longfoot, you can't attack your friends with might. That's just dangerous. Yeah. Oh, go to a tree. <laughs> was, go to a uh, tree and take I a time out. I've heard oh. enough. I don't Long want to see you. Longfoot, do you have any more leavings? What? What? Eh? He might have pooped his pants. He has been a little Ooh. intoxicated. That's what I was considering. Uh, oh, you did doing you? that? Did you? Did you? No, no, I didn't. I'm in help. Stop collecting my, please stop collecting my. I'm just gonna follow Longfoot wherever oh, he goes. Okay. Like follow oh, behind great. him. <laughs> okay. I'm in. I'm in. So guards come for you guys. And I'm in went and made big fire, made distraction, and did it work? Now it we're work? all here. Did they like the um, fire? <laughs> I think that um, I think the place is on fire. Um, I'm not like sure. That. That. What worked means, but yeah, sure, the house is on fire. Some poor family and their kids have lost their home. Okay, great. Oh, what a gift. You need therapy, both of you. Both of you need to see a doctor. That is, that is terrible. There were probably kids hurt. in there. But the, never mind. You know what? Good for you, Armin. I'm so proud you got to light that fire. I hope, I hope yeah. the little baby Thank kids you. got out. Yeah, welcome. I did a good job. You did a fantastic job. As I did. Thank you, Billy. I, I, now I, what? I don't know. Um, I'm very, very suddenly sober. Probably because someone who I thought was a friend just tried to knock me out. Don't know what that was about. <gasps> it worked, didn't it? You're sober now. At least you can think. And not I don't want to hear it. Shut up! Of you. Mm. Stop so mean. Perhaps I the alcohol ingestion these... will change the properties of your leavings and make it even more flammable. Don't go well. anywhere. No, I think that your stomach kind of cooks off the alcohol is kind of the whole point of the alcohol. Uh, we must find out. Is your stomach? I don't know. What, do I look like a doctor to you? I, my I dad was a monster. Ask. I just like learning things. It's not, I'm sorry. It's fine. I just don't have a book on me. I would, t I would tell you if I could. What are we supposed we'll to find do? find out later. I, but we could look at Doran, turn back around. I don't even want to see that face. You're in trouble. Longfoot, you too. Oh. Face to the tree. They're in trouble, Billy. You sure start hitting you. each other okay. and you keep burning down buildings. We'll never get to do our job and the governor's going to kick us out. He watched you do all that nonsense. No, and then I didn't. Doran blamed it on the governor. He didn't. They didn't it's see us. Idea. It was a you good blamed idea. it on somebody else. Yes, I blamed it. He blamed yes. it on the governor. The person How who hired him wants to pay you. us. Wow, that's a good idea! Yeah, no, she, she I think it's gonna it. be less pain She's now. the only sensible one here, apparently. That means no. we don't get caught! 
Okay, we blame not. other people. Yeah. No, just a smart uh, idea. Um, I really I think smart I need a idea. Solution. Wait, I have a solution. What's is the it solution? set on fire? I, hear it. I think Longfoot and Sword need to apologize to each other. Well, okay, Absolutely. hold on, Long. Why are you raising your hand? You got a question? Yeah, I just had a, a thing I wanted to bring up because um, I don't want to be polite. Um, you just blamed it on the governor, right? Aren't we meant to be working for the governor? How that is, is that precisely going? how that works, yeah. But but my uh, my expertise, my ingenious brain, and my tinkering of my fiddly doodah came up with the, an amazing plan. See, not only did I blame it on the governor, it was uh, someone that looked just like me, in the dark anyway. It was a badger friend. And I, f and I thought of an idea around him. It was a big idea. It was actually a great one. And little flames even reached towards my idea. It was that good. And I pushed him forward at the same time of your escape. And now they think that badger did it. They pointed at him and I made my escape. I didn't even leave a trail this time. It was a, it was a good cover-up. I still think that maybe we, the governor probably has some suspicions. Since I assume this is kind of a quiet town. And now there's a building on fire and there's a fight in the bar. Add me. Honestly, no, I hope there's more than a building on fire. Oh. <laughs> Longfoot we also set a guard on like, fire. I would like you to shake hands. I don't want to hear any bickering. I just want to see a handshake. Do you want to um, be paid or do you want to sleep in the woods? I definitely want to be paid. I like money. Uh, I'm in one of the fire. To get paid. All right, fine. Can Only I if you let me woods? repair your sword because it's quite... Absolutely ugly. fucking not. Can Armin, can Armin oh. start fire after we get paid? Yeah, Armin, you can start yeah. fire, but you just yeah. burned down a house. Uh, yeah. I want to do it again, though. Okay, let's uh, Fine pick a breather. Here. We, need to go we didn't even breathe. get to watch it. Yeah. Mm. All right. That's the fun part. Very proud no of hunt. you two. Very proud of you two. All what right, let's hunt? read group. He has to sleep sometime, don't he? I don't, I think a hug is no hug, maybe okay. stretching it. Nice. Uh, what do we need to do now? Does well, anybody yeah, have any idea? Yeah, kill that person. Save, save fire. The daughter. We must the I'm sorry, Armin. I thought you were going to say fire again. Did you have an actual idea? I'd love to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Armin, think. Now we, now we not in trouble. Now we go and we sneak to go kill those, the bad people. No. While fire is big distraction. Um, well, we, we need to, there was a large rabbit that's that might... actually not a, that's actually not a very bad plan at all! Yeah! Armin thought it all herself! That's actually pretty impre... Yeah, we could try to drag out that... Yeah! That while the well, fire is still say, lit. When someone loses an eye, they gain more in their senses. Maybe this one is coming around finally. You know, I need to write that down, actually. Okay. Uh, anybody else have any ideas to contribute towards this? Ace, you got anything? I mean, we got it. We have a couple options, right? There's um, there is that daughter that went missing, and there's yes. um, that Miriam that we are supposed to. <sighs> you know what I mean? I don't want to see because we was... got in trouble. You know. Yeah, it was pretty graphic. Yeah. Uh, both both great points. Did forget about that daughter. I didn't really hear much about her. That I remember. Well, <clears throat> she you were tripping dad. over various bar stools and such at the time. I would never. She's... I don't know what you're talking about. She was called <laughs> fire. It's a sign. We have to save yes. fire. We have yes. to save fire. Right, Armin? Fire! We have to save fire. Yes, save, we save fire. fire and but... then we go kill the other thing. But we might lose we our opportunity. To... We can make another Wait, opportunity, a bigger no. opportunity. No, no not no. if they leave no. more what fire if we like the in the village. On fire. Fire. If I get if more poop in that? there, leave it around the village, and then I could go and set fires everywhere at the same but time, and then the... everything could be on fire all at once, and I could run away while I'm doing it. <laughs> Where do I'm getting more and more plan? sober as I listen to everyone talk. Um, That's shocking. All I heard was me from, yeah. from that one over there. I just, there was none of us. It was just her fire and running. Yes. I, well, yeah, you can do really the, the killing. I have a solo plan there. Yeah. We well, Armin will help me. Armin will help me. Okay. I, and what about the rest of us? You well, will we, kill the people while we do the fire. We make okay. big distractions? I don't want to kill people. Longfoot, did you have any mm. input here now that you've sobered up over there and you did your handshake? Yeah, uh, he kind of like wipes his hand. Um, I, I think we should go with uh, uh, the 
assassination of whoever I can't yeah. remember her name. I'm just Marianne. still a bit feeling hangover. Miriam, Miriam, that's Miriam. it. Mm-hmm. Something like um, at least it and was, it was Miriam. Because right? Armin, Armin is definitely onto something. We could use the fire as cover. We won't need cover when we're looking for fire. The, the yeah. person okay. named fire. So, so we should make do with the cover now while we still. Do we want to actually? Because because the governor said right. You said that he mentioned um that we don't have to kill her. No, we don't have to or kill it. He just said, he said, get rid of her. He didn't say specifically murder. I said, do you want us to get a loss somewhere? Do you want us to get a killed? And he said, eh. Maybe what we can tie her up and put her in a boat. Why don't we grab her and take her with us to find that daughter that we were that we were looking for? Oh. Okay. And then An I can adventure. That way she can't Whoa. get back to the village. It'll be real hard to take her anywhere with us if we break her legs. I just don't, I do want to point out, I'm not kidding. Oh at, at the goats. <gasps> we break Armin, the legs at the goats and blame the goats. Armin don't want to break no legs. How you want to light the legs on fire? Oh, yeah. that's even better. Yeah. <gasps> what if we give her to another one of the nations? And they can keep her as like a hostage. Criminal. Is that not what we're doing when we're giving it to the governor, kind of? Like where you get rid of well, her, he we said get he money from want the area. He just wants her gone. Yeah. But then we get oh. the yeah. I guess we could. That's a is that we a long trip? We could probably make money. <gasps> oh wait, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Amen. Yeah. Amen. <gasps> we put her. We oh. take her with us. And oh. Armin tie her to tree and oh. that weird owl thingy, Mabob, or watch her. But the, uh, but the owl was kind of busy watching us. It seemed. Yeah. Oh. I'm just surprised. Okay, we t- wait, also, wait, no so we tie her around. to a tree. We tie her to a tree and we leave her. We go find fire. We come back and we set her on fire. <gasps> oh, um. Oh, no. Does anybody no. know any That's deserted islands? Well, okay. No, no none, none nearby. Her into the, the, the sunset and hope she lives. And then we're not exactly murderers, you know? It's just. No. Okay. What if I, I make a rocket idea. and you fuel it with your fire and we shoot it to to, to the sky? Wack, while they're all discussing these ridiculous ideas, <laughs> is there a way I could check to see how chaotic the town center is to see if that oh, is yeah, actually absolutely. viable for a distraction? Oh, definitely. You can, uh, yeah, you can definitely try and read a tense situation. I'm gonna say. Multiple hours. Oh God, of fire, I, you know? I'm not wearing this onesie ever again. This is too hot. Okay, I'm um, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm still in here. Oh, but it looks so good on you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you need a pair of bunny ears, then you don't have to wear the outfit. Okay, yeah. it's an, it's oh, an like eight. Oh, like the headband. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, okay. So on an eight. When you try and read a tense situation, you can ask one from the list, and you get a plus one when acting on the answers. Oh, I'm looking at figure someone out. I was like, I don't want to know about these people. Okay. Um, <laughs> you don't want to know about our men? What should I be on the lookout for? Like, what mm. is actually, like, what should I keep an eye on in this Names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming the little, the little rabbit firefighters got it under control. Mm, there's a lot of stuff that you should be on the lookout for. That's mm. what I'm thinking. What What do you think the most? Like I'm, what I'm really wondering is like if her guards, like she was standing in the center of town with all her guards. I'm kind of wondering if she's still vibing out but confused. If the guards have scattered because they're worried about the fire. Like, is yeah, she alone? I think Miriam would. Uh, actually, is it Miriam or Miriam? Sorry, let me just double check. Is it daytime or nighttime? <laughs> uh, it's probably <laughs> late afternoon. Uh, oh, it is God. Miriam. <laughs> Miriam. Uh, Miriam oh, Sable. Miriam Sable fur. From the Marquisate. Um, and yeah, I think that would probably be what you need to be on the lookout for. Because Miram is, uh, would definitely have, uh, gotten out of that situation. And she's nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Okay. Muted? How do I use my... <laughs> sorry, I have a, a new computer, so my buttons are not what they used to be. Um, I have extra connections. How do you use those? Oh, great question. So, your connections... Because mm-hmm. I have a watcher that I would love to use, because maybe they've been watching what's happening in town. So you haven't named your connection yet? Uh, is that correct? Well, I named Uncle Vinny. Mm-hmm. Um... 
you know what? Let's go. Let's go ahead and say that um, my aunt Abigail is actually just kind of the nosy neighbor in this town, and Absolutely. she she knows everything. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean that's basically how you use your connections. You're basically creating NPCs that are in this place. Sick. Sick. Okay, so I can be like, okay, listen, I I heard all your ideas, and I value them. Uh, I got. I got an aunt in town. I didn't want to mention it earlier in case you were psychos and you were going to kill my family members. And she's kind of the nosy neighbors. She knows everything that's going on. Um, you did light a neighbor's house on fire. I'm just going to pop on over and see if she's been on her porch watching the fire, watching the town square like she normally does with a cigarette in her mouth and see what she's see what she's noticed. I'll Ask her if you. she likes it. You weren't yeah. making it up? No, I'm a pop. Like my family uncles? is like, it's like you. Wait, so so oh, Uncle Vinny oh. is like a real person. Like yeah, you... Uncle Vinny, I actually, I'll be honest, when when we were running out, I, I thought I spotted him across the town square, oh, wait, but what I, does Vinny oh, look like? He wasn't possum. a badger, was, no, he's a possum. No, he's a possum. He's my, he's a possum. He's not adopted, so. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, looks just like me, but like a scraggly, and he's got a tattoo of an anchor on his face, which was oh. an interesting choice, oh. Vinny. We all talk about it at Christmas. Anyways, um, mm. You know what? Why don't y'all hang down here? I'll go with you. Ma I, I'll keep him. I'm gonna grab Soren by the skirt. Oh, Ace, maybe you'll come with me. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, come yeah, with yeah, me. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, and you I would like open. to come. Um, oh, I feel like that's a great. Yeah, that's great. Oh, somebody's yeah, gotta stay with Armin, and uh, I don't want you to get that close to the fire. That's I'll me. be honest. I want to be real honest with you. I'm not. I'm not too sure you should come into my to my aunt's house. She does have a fireplace, and I am concerned. But maybe separating them is a good idea? No. Uh, no. No. We must stay together. If you go to the speed easy, easy, please bring no. some of the what liquid back. Separate them? <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I feel I like know. separating them might be actually easier to handle. Um, That's all right, Billy, can come on. And I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna hook one of your oh, arms, Ace, you grab the other. No, come on, really? oh, I was like, oh, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> you're gonna to be go. okay. Come on, Silly. So, Nettle, Villigan, and who else are going to visit? Okay, That's me. okay. And uh, Ace, leaving behind Longfoot, Soren, and Armin. Good luck. We follow Ace, <laughs> Nettle, and Villigan as they head off to. I'm sorry, who is this person again? Aunt Abigail, my great Aunt Abigail. Great Aunt Please. Abigail, okay. Don't disrespect her like that again. Okay. <laughs> she makes the most <laughs> unbelievable butter, buttermilk pancakes you've ever had in your life. Maybe she'll whip some up for us while we're in here. Yeah, anyways, uh, Ab Abigail! I'm assuming, like, I oh, assume that we're, like, pancakes. still in distance from that house that's burning, and I assume her house is right next door with, like, a big porch that she just, like, has a rock and chair, she smokes a cigarette, she watches everybody around. Okay, yeah, so there's, okay. like, a little uh, porch with, um... Various found sundry objects uh, about. Um, I think it's. Um, weird. You know how like like garbage houses always have like a weird iron like rusted like wheel spoke in their front yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got one of those. <laughs> but there's maybe like some like you know a few flowers that are mm -hmm. sort of half dead that are on them. Um, you know, she sort like of, puts out her yeah. cigarettes into the flower pot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just keep dying. She keeps replaying. I don't understand why they keep dying, love. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I know people like this. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Uh, so you you approach this place, and um, it is a it is a possum home. So yes, there's a little bit of junk here and there, um, but it's got a, its own quaint charm. Um, and you approach, and you can see, basically, uh, Aunt Abigail on the, on this, like, lawn chair out on the, on the patio. It's a little uneven, uh, and she uses it a bit like a rocking chair as she's just sitting there with a cigarette, and she's all squished down into the, into the lawn chair. Oh, She's wearing like a them. tattered robe. Oh. <laughs> Aunt Abigail! Aunt Abigail, it's what? me, Metal Spur! What? Abigail! What? 
Nettle is by your niece. Nettle is that your aunt's my house? My niece, my niece doesn't live here. I don't live here. I'm passing I through. What do you mean? Apart. I saw Uncle Vinny in the in the crosswalk earlier. Is he in town too? Vinny's getting into trouble again. I don't know, Aunt Abigail. Obviously, it's me. How else would I know about Aunt Vinny? These are my friends, Villigan and Ace. Hi. Oh, Nettle, Hello. how are you? I'm great. You look spectacular. Is that a new robe? You look great. And I'm going to give her like a really awkward hug. It's great. It's really oh, nice to see you. It's been it's forever. It's so lovely what? to see you, dear. Oh, I got some ash on your back again. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's an old trench coat anyways. Um... Hey, listen, we were just passing through, and uh, I was wondering, because, you know, I know you, <laughs> and you smell lovely. Can I just say oh, that? Thank you, you dear. look Right, Philigan, right? It's my jeans. Yeah, she does not yeah, smell she lovely. She oh, my God. Great. Did you order that on the QVC? No, dear. It hasn't been coming in lately. Oh, your mail's going to the wrong spot. Do you need me to call my father about that? That would be nice, dear. Oh, oh my you're God, always Abigail. thinking of your Aunt Abigail. I forgot my father died, but I'll figure out someone I can talk to about that. Perhaps he's just playing dead, dear. You know what? You couldn't be wrong. We've had a few fake deaths in the family. You wouldn't you wouldn't believe how often it happens. Um, Aunt Ow. Abigail, uh, I am here on a job. You know, the kind of jobs Grandpappy used to do. Uh, and I was just wondering if you saw anything of interest. We're looking for a Miram. And she was standing by the fountain earlier, but now she's gone. And then also the fire was my friend. So please don't tell anybody, but sorry about that. Is your house Did okay? you like it? Did you like it? Is that what that was? Well, yeah, we almost yeah. chose your house, but, well, yours looked slightly less flammable. So I'm sorry about that. Well, that's... That just has to do with some very clever decorating, dear. Ah, oh, very clever, very anti-flammable. We can test that, you know. We can test it. No, make sure. No, 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 no. Maybe tomorrow. Or never. So what and do if you, you light my family's my house with? on fire, Villigan, you won't hear the end of it, because you'll be dead. What if Armin does? It? She can go with Mira. <laughs> True. I'm kidding, Villigan. <laughs> Uh, sorry, what was your question, Aunt Abigail? I said, what, my kids. what are you looking to do here, dear? Um, the governor hired me to take Miram on a nice walk to the farm mm -hmm. where the dogs go when they run away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And have and? you seen her? I'm looking I'm looking for her. She was standing out there. I, I figured, you know what? You're always on your porch. You're always watching. Have you... Did you see where she scattered off to? Do you uh, know maybe what those guards are up to? What's uh? I know you have the intel. Is that a map you have rolled up in your pocket, Aunt Abigail? I would like you to please try and persuade an NPC. I would love to. Thank you so much for asking. Please roll with charm. Ooh. So it's not that she doesn't seem to want to help you. It's just... I'm sorry, dear. I can't keep track of all these cats running around here. They came into town a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Who can really uh -huh. remember? But I, I don't know where they went. The fire went, and, you know, it was nice, and they, they, they it was, livened it was things nice. up a little bit, you know. Yes. Oh, that's, I go to give her a hug, like, instantly, just like... <laughs> Milligan's gonna uh, ride that high for weeks. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna yeah. watch your back, dear. Yeah, I got some ash on you. Oh, put oh. more on there. Put more on, yes. More. Thank you. I think this one's a little okay. Yeah, you would. The Yeah, yeah. could put it nicely, I would you think. You should meet uh. her sister. <laughs> you would love Armin. I don't Everybody know. Everybody loves Armin. Um, anyways. Uh, Anna Abigail, it was a uh, pleasure to see you. Oh, sure. Um, Do you uh, want a muffin, dear? Pancake! Uh, I was, you know, I was telling them about your famous pancakes, but I'd take a muffin if you don't have any pancakes lying around. Uh, we don't have any pancakes left. It oh. is the afternoon, dear, but maybe uh, tomorrow yeah, morning if you stop by, it would be nice. <gasps> tomorrow! I would love, Can you we? know what I'd love to I'd love to bring my friends uh, for breakfast, but it, just in case we're not here. Oh, your um, friends or if... too. Okay. 
Well, I could help you in the kitchen if you, you know, I'm, uh... I think I have an old sugar packet in, in one of these trench coat pockets. I could you... steal some stuff for it. Oh, that I have would fire be nice. Lighters. Yeah. What kind of stuff do you need? What kind of stuff doesn't an old possum need? Oh. Is this a... Are you... Are you trying to... Is this something closer? Is there something you want? Well, Vinny wasn't thinking it would be too good of an idea, but I was suggesting maybe, maybe, we could get something from one of the workshops. You know they keep a lot of those old rusty uh, blades at the sawmill? <gasps> Yeah, what do you want a blade for? What? I could hang it up right over the door. What do you mean? Oh. And when it falls and it cuts your head open? <gasps> Science! You worry too much. I worry too much? Do you remember what happened to Charles? Two tools fall right on his head. Concuss never remembers his entire family. You want that to happen He's to you? He's better off. His family wasn't too <laughs> We're his family, Abigail. We're his family. I know. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, I'll okay. Think it up if I, <laughs> I was thinking more for the pancakes, but if you want the blades, well, I good you. decor helps to cook better, so it might help. Yeah. If you want to get oh, some ingredients for the pancakes, then I just need some buttermilk. Okay. Nothing but secret. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Or is it? Like I don't think she'll have it. If you want, it, yeah, you can get some secret buttermilk. Oh, what's the secret behind the buttermilk? I don't know. You're the one that brought it up. Oh. <sighs> I just thought, because your pancakes are supposed to be so good. Um. Anyway. I'll get you buttermilk. Oh, and nice. the sauce. What and then it? tomorrow, we can see if your house is truly inflammable. <laughs> no. Villigan, I said it, and I meant it. Maybe the day after. <laughs> no. All right, it's been lovely, and Abigail. Everybody anyway, say thank you and goodbye. You. It's it really was great to meet you. to see you and meet your thank friends. You. Can I give you a hug? Oh, sure, dear. Oh, oh just <sighs> mind the ash. Oh, she sorry, you're a little like pointy. Mold. I hope I'm not pricking you. <laughs> not her purposefully tapping it on your back. <laughs> Now. <laughs> it's like fairy dust. She's yeah, always really done is. it. Really? Yeah. Yes. Some just people are fairy godparents. I've got an Aunt Abigail in her ashtray. I think it's kind of special. It was really nice to see you. I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. All, all right. All right, dear. I'll see and you. if I don't, I'm probably dead. Don't even worry about it. Okay. I'm playing dead. <laughs> yeah, right? no, I'd rather just. Let's, come on. Let's if go. If she's dead, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That's horrifying. <laughs> and that's probably a good place for us to take our break. <laughs> We've done nothing. A wacky NPC is that's the fa that's my favorite NPC. That's my favorite NPC. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can hear the creak of her rocking chair. You can hear it's it. not that even a rocking good. chair. It's I a lawn chair it. that's imbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> I can 100% see the garden gnomes and all kinds of crap. Just all. Yes, <laughs> oh my god, I was crying. They're all Holy horrific. All, all of the things that are on the path. I could imagine it so perfectly. As soon as you started describing her, I was like, I got this. This is easy. This is easy. All, all. It's like the weirdest garden gnomes that you can imagine. Yeah. You know, like they're all like these horrific, like gargoyleish creatures that are on this patio. I just none of I the just match. It. No, they're like overgrown too. There's like mold yeah. all over them. Oh, oh yeah, oh, and God. all. And just to be clear, uh, you know, a lot of the houses here are covered in like mold and stuff because there was some kind something happened here because a lot of the houses have like spores and things growing you know mold spores growing on them yeah yeah so i was good I first thought half. she had babies crawling all over or something at first <laughs> <laughs> yeah i imagine she's like divorced and she's like like ki secretly killed her ex-husband we all know it but when nobody ever talks about it <laughs>
<laughs> Absolutely. But, but you like don't know. Kids off of her and putting them to the side. <laughs> but you, you know, don't. He's, he's, he's playing dead. Yeah, you don't know if he just played dead for like yeah, or to get out of the relationship. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Sure, Nobody knows what happened to him. That's what I was thinking about. When you say your dad is probably playing dead, I was like, for years. <laughs> My dad wants to get Another milk. kid. Nevin came home. Nevin came uh, home. Good first half. Uh, and um, yeah, that was good. Good job, everybody. Make sure uh, you're following all. Oh, absolutely nowhere. <laughs> We're never going to do ever. Welcome Why? to every single TTRPG experience ever. Uh, <laughs> you guys have two quests. You're going to be lucky to do one of them. Um, <laughs> Uh, make sure you're following all these lovely people, and a big thank you to Magpie Games for sponsoring the show and making that happen. Uh, we're having so much fun doing this, and uh, yeah, things are. Uh, we're you know they're 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 working on these books. We're gonna see the books early 2022. So, so exciting! Quarter one, Never quarter wanted one. Something we're gonna so see bad. it. Yeah. Um, now that I see the baby. chaos that's possible. Yeah, this, this is, is great. We're having I, so I much fun. I want to play this more. We're yeah. having so much fun. Uh, so please make sure you're following all these wonderful people. We're going to take a little bit of a break here, folks. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Give the cast a chance to walk around a little bit, get a drink, etc. We'll be back in just a few. Hang tight for more Root, the tabletop role-playing game. We find the other group of vagabonds waiting for their friends as they march off to speak with Aunt Abigail. What are you all doing? Uh, Armin, breathe. breathe. It's, it's okay. Villain's gonna just been gone for uh, like three minutes. Armin can't breathe. Armin can't breathe. Armin can't breathe. Breathe, breathe in. Out. Like, like fire. Fire is fire right now! Oh my god. Okay. Um, like, fire! No, 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 no. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have separated. I think it's going to Sure. Are you trying to restrain Armin? No, what are you doing? Armin is on fire right now. Sora oh, no, okay. a little foot in Armin, and he turns around in his bag of stuff and his toolkit, and he pulls out wood that he took from the village when he was there earlier and tries to attempt to build a restraint. Sure. You can mark a depletion. Yes. Okay, oh, can, and he just, you just see him walk up and he's like measuring her. Oh, <laughs> I'm just trying to hold her down. Ah! Yes. Fire! Oh. Start fire right now! Fire! He started oh. fire like um, like ten minutes ago. I think you're good. That should be okay. I'm gonna start fire right now. What, no, oh, no, 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 no fire right now. Think of, think of anything but fire. Think of um. Fire! Um, fire! No, fire. no, not fire. fire. Please. Fire! 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 Oh God, I regret everything. I'm gonna start a fire right now. I'm gonna light a tree on fire. I'm gonna light a tree on fire. I'm gonna light a tree on fire, tree on fire right now. Should, I think we. I think we can. How about a match? Just hold a match to your face. Would that do? Would that be okay? You can just hold a match and stare at the fire. Stare at the flame. Oh. So, it seems like you oh. want to use your toolbox. I do. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna say, uh, when you open up your toolbox and you dedicate yourself to making a thing or <laughs> or uh, to get to the bottom of something. Uh, mm -hmm. Decide what and tell the GM. And it seems like you're trying to make some restraints here for Armin. Uh, what do these restraints look like? Are they wooden, um, like like manacles? No, so it's a wooden frame. And uh, I'm I'm assuming, yeah, it, it it has like clamps and everything. So basically, she's gonna be like this in a wooden frame. You know, like the old spring-loaded mattress frame, but it's gonna lock her down. <laughs> in <laughs> what? Like a rack? <laughs> Yeah, she yeah, like a tanning rack, but made to restrain. <laughs> He's creative, okay. <laughs> you, have, you have okay. All right, uh, all right. So mm -hmm. when yeah, you try to do this, uh, mm -hmm. I have to give you some conditions, basically that you have to fulfill to accomplish your goal. Mm. I don't think you you have everything that you need to do this. Uh, you have some wood to set set up part of this. But I think you need some other random bits. I think you might have to steal some stuff to okay. get the rest. All right. What I'm going to do is, uh, shit. Um, I'm inserting off right now. Oh, okay, no, <laughs> Long is going to run um, off the armor. <laughs> how about I try to attempt to rip a patch of hair off of uh, Longfoot to create oh my God. enough to make the fabric to lock her down? 
Oh, well, I don't know busy. if you, I don't know if that'll work. I think you okay, need to right, get fine. some some yeah, you need to get something that would How close are we to the village? You're still in the village. I mean, oh, you're you're okay. probably not near those fire the houses that were on fire. I would assume that you're kind of close to the workshops. Yeah. All right. So Soren kind of like while he's dealing with her, he like looks and he like lays flat on his back and uh, starts scooting himself on the ground backwards. Okay, you're going that way. Okay, I'm going to go after Armin then. Fine. <laughs> hey, uh, Longfoot. I'm a sorry fire! We, we follow Longfoot as Longfoot chases after Armin. Uh, are you just running to tackle <laughs> Armin at this point? Yeah, I think at this point, just to die. I'm a sorry dive fire! Dive. Okay, I think... Uh, <laughs> I think this is plead with a PC. Uh, it seems like plead with a PC or, or this can be a, um, a roguish feat. If you have some kind of roguish feat that might help you or a persuade an NPC. I think, I think. Oh, actually, no, it's not an NPC. This would have to be, yeah, roguish feat, uh, or plead with the PC or trust fate. What would you like to do? Uh, I'll plead with a PC. Okay. So, I'm going to let you play this out, but the mechanics behind it are when you plead with a PC to go along with you, they can clear one exhaustion if they agree to what you've proposed. So, Armin, you can potentially clear an exhaustion if you have any if you go along with what Longfoot says. Longfoot, what do you do? Oh, Armin, please, please. Okay, hold on, hold on. I know you need to start fire, but think about this. If we start fire now, we will most definitely get kicked out of town, and there'll be no more town for you to set fire to later. Fire! So, in, in, if, we, if you wait now, you can set the whole town on fire, because it'll be long on our way after that. So, no fire now, lots of fire later. How, how about that? What do I roll for that? <laughs> you don't have to roll anything. This is up to okay. Armin. No fire now, but lots of fire Armin. later, or little fire now and no fire later. Armin, gonna light. You want fire? I'm going to pounce on him. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. So, let's see, Armin. Do you have anything to accomplish this goal? Armin got shop claws. Okay. Oh, no. You're gonna just pounce on uh on Longfoot then. All right, this is gonna go really well. <laughs> so, you have some weapon skills. You've got disarm and you've got improvise, or you can try and trust fate. I'm going to disarm him. <clears throat> okay, so. You are better lucky than good. When you use a weapon move, mark exhaustion to roll with luck instead of the listed stat. If you would like to try and disarm, normally, uh, that is a finesse roll. Other, if you want to, you can do finesse or you can spend an exhaustion and use, uh, and use luck instead of finesse. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna roll for Ness. Okay. It's a little bunny on fire. <laughs> How does Armin fail spectacularly here, Longfoot? Um, I think uh, even despite having been just tipsy a few moments ago, I think he's still very much uh, a warrior. <laughs> so he immediately sees that Armin's gonna pounce at him. So he just does a quick, very quick sidestep and lets her just dive past him. Armin, we don't need some resorts of violence, okay? Where is Billy? She's on her way. She's going to be back Billy. soon. I, I'm gonna need do Billy. Not, I don't have Billy right now, but she'll be here soon. Just don't set anything on fire without her. I think she'll be very upset if you do Billy, about. gonna set this fire, Archie. Uh, oh, Stay on fire. Stay on fire. Okay. Switch back to Soren. Soren. You are trying to find some supplies to finish these restraints. You're a bit oh. worried. You head into some nearby workshops and... <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, there's locks there. There's... Oh. 
there's a device so i have two things i could do I either disable a device that's holding the fab or the stuff that i need or i could pick a lock what do i see so you enter a uh, like a, a small smithy um they're working on what looks to be like uh arrow um like uh basically uh arrows for for bows this is a very famous uh bow crafting town so they have they're making some like um uh they're making arrows basically they're making the the heads on the arrows arrows the bows bows so there's bows. feathers there's like um you can see they're they're whittling some wood for the shafts of the arrows oh uh -huh. yes yes sure, yeah. bows have bow strings i need the, that's what i need I need there's definitely strings, strings there yeah um is there anybody in sight uh yeah there's probably like two workers yeah they are, they are. they're turned? working hmm Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, mm. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go up to the counter because I'm a star what gentleman. And uh, he like takes his hammer, he goes Boom, on a desk, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, Poom. Excuse me. Um, ah, uh, yes, uh, what you know, can there's, I do a for fire out, there's a fire outside. Did you know that I could breach here and burn this whole building down? I just want to let you know that, but anyway, I'm just being a good stand up citizen and just want to let you know there's fire. Okay, try and trick an NPC. Roll with cunning, please. But it's the truth. <laughs> yeah, but okay. you're trying to trick them so uh, that yeah, they yeah, run yeah. away. Okay, here we go. Cunning. A 12. <laughs> yeah. A fire. Oh, hey, yep. get, get, get all the, the stuff. We can't let anything catch on fire. Oh, there's you. so much I'll work that was been done. Wait, you're going to yes. help? Yep, I'm going to grab all the bows for you, and you grab those over there and get that thing behind the counter oh. deep, deep in that Oh, dance. bless you, sir. Bless yep. you. Yep. Oh, right. thank yep. you. Oh, yeah, you just, and oh. you can just grab all that stuff over there. Okay. Yep. Oh. Oh. Now go that way. That's that. That's the uh, bad way. You have to go that uh, way. Uh, yes, yep. Oh, I'll see you in a bit, sir. And he okay. just, like, warns out the door <laughs> with a whole arm full of bows. <laughs> and he looks around outside. He's like... The device and uh start building uh the uh the tanning rack restraint <laughs> I, th I think i think we can say that you can uh you can clear a depletion okay and uh any we'll say that you need i'll i'd say that you need to spend at least two more to complete the uh complete the contraption here <laughs> it's just like one of those cartoons where you see him moving around like a slideshow uh, and he finds uh, he finally completes it and he's like <gasps> the awesome jacket is complete and uh he There's looks like a around Zelda he's like, mm, achievement yeah, noise you know <laughs> it's just spinning in the air yeah. <laughs> um and he's like ah! <clears throat> in the distance you can see Armin and Longfoot Ooh. sort of tussling uh, as as uh, Armin sort of tries to pounce on Longfoot, and Longfoot chases after her as you see her striking the flint and steel, uh, trying to catch something on fire. I'm not gonna set a fire! She's just gonna come and be don't, like, don't do this. I've got it! He's just gonna run, and uh, he's gonna be like, hold on! He's gonna jump in the air and then just spread. He looks like a flying squirrel with, <laughs> with this thing, mm -hmm. and uh, He's gonna be like, awesome! This makes your fire bigger! And he's just gonna like jump on top of her and uh, try to throw the restraining tanning rack jacket on her. Okay. I think what's gonna, what you're gonna try and see here is for you to. Hmm. I think that this is ooh, probably a trust fate, is my guess here. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, what are we looking at? The uh, harm or the basic moves? This is a basic move, yes. This is okay. with luck. Oh, fuck. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, I asked you to help me, uh, Longfoot. Uh, are you going to do it or yeah, not? I'm going to help. Longfoot like can Shire. try and help you, yes. This will right. mark an exhaustion, Longfoot. You get a plus one to this. Oh, boy. Armin's going to try. Armin's going to attempt to climb the tree. Armin, you, you can actually try and interfere with what they're yeah. doing if you would like to. Armin's gonna use 
Please, Daredevil. Ooh. This is dangerous situation for Armin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to improvise. And <laughs> so we've got too many conflicting things know, here. We can't do up. too many things yeah. at once. So I, think, I think what we're going to say is let's take a look at your move here, Armin. Okay. I think this is going to be on Soren. Your situation is when you dive into a dangerous situation without forethought or planning. So I think Soren's role is going to be the, the main role here. And if Soren fails... You, you. We'll see what happens. All right. If okay. Sorden fails, then it hits Longfoot. We'll see. Oh, great. Okay. Great. All right. Here we go. Uh, so luck. And you have a <laughs> plus one on the result. Fate. Okay, fate. an eight. So <laughs> when you trust fate on a hit, you scrape by or barrel through. The GM will tell you what it costs you. So Soren, you are able to. Restrain Armin in this makeshift uh, straight jacket that you have created. However, unfortunately, uh, you have also caught fire just a little bit. Um, oh my! I don't know how it happened, but Armin somehow quickly <laughs> caused a small fire on yourself. Uh, I think you're going to go ahead and take an injury um, oh, as I'm be Armin. Dead by the end of the episode. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Soren just runs and jumps, and he tackles her, and right now she's ah! like normal until he pulls the string in the back, and he goes, ah! <laughs> like that, and just slaps her against the tree, and he's like, ah! try that, and I think when he does that, he goes, ah! and you see a flame come out, and his tail's on fire, and he's like, ah! He runs along foot. Put it out! Put it out! I can't reach it! God dang it! Pin it out! Okay, ah! fine. I'm gonna try to pin it out. Oh. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna be stomping it out with my foot. Hey! <laughs> yeah. I can't take another God damn it! Do I that. think I think you <laughs> you're able to put out the fire. <laughs> and we join our other group. So you've just left Aunt Abigail. What do you do? I'm not. I'm. I'm not really sure what to do now. Um, like we we gotta find that lady. Uh, but also we don't know where she is or where her guards are. And also, uh, we have breakfast scheduled for tomorrow now, and I can't let Aunt Abigail down. Yeah. Actually, she, she probably really wouldn't nice. care if we were there. She's nice. Not. Yeah, she's. Nice. We should go back and the day after and the day after. Yeah, sure. Feel like it. If you yeah. ever late. I'm just gonna pin Villigan up against the nearest wall. If you have a light, my family member's house on fire, I will take Armin and pluck every single, you know what, they don't even have any hair left. I'll pluck Armin their toes no out. Hair. Every single nail on her a, on a little paws will be gone. Do you hear me? Because mm -hmm. I like ya and I don't wanna do that, but if you light my family's house on fire, it will resort to that, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, perfect. I'm say, I'm gonna pat you on the back. It's, I'm glad we're coming to this friendly understanding here. Yeah, perfect. Yes, ma'am. Sh should we head uh, back to the group and tell them what we found? Which was nothing, right? Yeah, basically yeah, nothing. Yeah, probably. V Villigan, uh, are you crying? No, ma'am. <laughs> it's okay, Villy. She was just kidding. I just wanted right? to get the point across. Nobody's mad at you, sugar. Just don't kill my family. It's really simple. It's very simple. I don't kill people. No, but if you light the house on fire, that's where they live. They may not have a job. Where will my Aunt Abigail sleep? Where will she make her pancakes, Villigan? That is a good what point. What about her beautiful petunias on a front porch? Half the dead? Petunias. Sprinkled with ash? Well, they would be better that way. But yes, you're right. I will... Thank you. Stop. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let's head on back. Let's see Armin. I'm yeah. I bet she's really missing you. <sighs> yes, I should not have left her alone. She does not do well on her own. Yeah, let's hurry mm, back. Sure she's fine. I don't see any fire in the distance, do There's I? There's like walk? a smash cut, like, as you approach <laughs> where it was. And you're just hearing the screaming, like, and we just see Nettle's expression <laughs> change. You know? Nettle's expression before was like, I'm sure it's fine. And then, <laughs> and just like the next frame is just. 
Please, please stop screaming, Armin. Uh, the villagers gonna be here soon. No, no fire, fire, no fire. No, I'm just fine, no, Armin. What have you done with Armin? What have you done with her? Where is she? Like this, <laughs> just spread out. What have you done? He's like uh, taking measurements still. Oh, King Cough, sorry. Just be still. Yeah. 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 Do you want to just leave them and do the job ourselves? Awesome it might be successful. better off, honestly. Uh, Villigan yeah. is torn between science and Armin. <laughs> what have you found? Then you see uh, Soren like turn around and look at Villigan like this. Like, Villigan! He's just like, just like skipping over there to you. <laughs> After his ah! Get all them down! Um, I have a proposition for you. We have things to do! But this is, this is, we're in a moment of but discovery. But you, you put her in a restraint! She was why? going to burn, she was going to quite literally burn the whole town. I warned you, I warned you, I said left. you shouldn't separate us. There's, there's, you know, I, I call it great for stretching. Uh, it's just getting the bones, kind of. Armin wants out, Billy! I'm, I'm gonna try and figure. get Armin out. Uh, uh, you don't not touch this! This is science in the best way! I'll do it for you. Just stand there. And he uh, he's like, put your arm here and hold this. And this will get her out. Yeah, just like that. And he's uh, starting to tie up Villigan as well. <gasps> right there. Stop right. it! I'm gonna okay, take perfect. my back and prick him with my 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 little pokey my pokey quills. But I'm gonna die! Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. What are you doing? So what are you I'm doing? Measuring. All right. Is what I would like right to fish, what I would like to happen then, I think what we're gonna say is mm, I need some rolls here. <laughs> this is gonna be interference, I think, from yeah. Ace. Uh, and let's see. I'm gonna need a roll from Soren again. Oh, great! Cunning. Why is this all happening? When you take the initiative on these situations, mm -hmm. that's usually what's going to happen with these rolls. So, that's what I think. I, I, I'm sorry. I tried my best. I, this is the best I could do. Long yeah, you no, that's leave. fine. You did terrible, but I, I appreciate yeah. the effort. Um, and what happened? Can I be? Can I? Can I pull? Can I give Nettle these big ass, like, cat eyes, like, from Shrek? Oh, yeah, <laughs> like the Puss in Boots I eyes? just, like, I just look up, like, and I pull the Puss in Boots eyes. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> but I only have one eye, so the other one's, like, completely burnt up. So that's the only mm -hmm. one eye that you see. Yeah. I think this is going to have to be a trust fate again, Soren. Ah, oh, dang. Why can't I be cutting? Because I'm a cutting human being. Well, you unfortunately uh, chose luck. the path that you were on. <laughs> luck. All right, luck it is. Anybody want to help me? Because I'm cute. No! You're getting interfered with from I'm poking Ace. you in my butt! Ha-ha! Okay. Success! Yes, yeah. it's a partial success, though, as oh, Ace shucks. is going to spend an exhaustion to minus two God. from that. So, instead of a 10, now you have an 8, and on an 8, true. you scrape by or barrel through, the GM will tell you what it cost you. So, you are tying up Villigan as well, somehow with some of the strings of this this uh, contraption that you have set up. You, you've got one of Villigan's arms sort of tied up in this, and Perfect. Ace Stay right there. pokes you in the butt, and you take your last point. Of injury ah! track. I don't know what happens. Am I Street Fighter dead or no? <laughs> you okay. oh, please tell me I didn't actually kill him. I fall wasn't unconscious. To kill him. Oh no! Yeah, after he's done, he's like, <laughs> and he just falls down. I didn't realize he was that hurt. <gasps> I mean, he hurt me though. So screw him. How did you do that? I, I is. Is anybody else just tired of having to deal with this, or is it? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, 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 I am. Yeah. Armin's still um, giving Nettle really big sad eyes. I look in return and do the same now. <laughs> but, but Armin only have one eye, so it. it <laughs> of, that of big eyes. Oh, it's so cute. What am I? What do they want from me, Ace? They want you to let them go. I think. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, can can you make me a promise if I let you down? No more fire uh, I... for the next few hours. And we have to get on our merry way and head towards fire or head towards finding somebody. Do you hear me? Not actual fire, the daughter, the human, the, the, what are they, a rabbit, a fox? Um, Armin don't know. Okay, well, we yeah, find I that. I think a fox. We find the fox. We kill the, do you hear me? We have to get on track or I'm not letting you down because if you light so, another building on fire. We've got. Armin. We've got a few situations oh. happening here. We've got a few moves <laughs> that are trying to be accomplished. I, I think Armin took the initiative here with the pleading uh, Puss in Boots eyes. Uh, <laughs> and you're trying to plead with the PC to let you out here, Armin. If anybody would like to let Armin out, let Villigan out, you will be able to clear one exhaustion. Aw, oh, dang it. All uh, right. I, yeah. Wait, how, wait, how you might need it more than I do. <laughs> I have two exhaustion. You know what? Maybe Longfoot has a moment. Maybe you finally have a soft spot. Uh, he just kind of... <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for splitting you and Villigan up. I thought it would be easier, but honestly, biggest regret of my life, and I have many. Um, and he's gonna, <laughs> let, he's gonna let Armin down. <laughs> Armin gonna give him a hug. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry for for getting angry with you and 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 Armin only wanted to kind of set you on fire because oh. Ar Armin don't do good with with without without Billy and uh, Armin gets scared and Armin set things on fire out of fear and Armin know it really bad but you know yeah. I'm sorry I proposed that idea. No, no, you're good. I we all agreed on it. Um, it's okay. We've all learned things. So yes. It's good. It's it's Armin, be good. Armin, be good. Armin, be good. Ah, yes. Yeah, Sorin's out cold, isn't he? Um, I'm gonna hit him with my okay. foot. Sorin. <laughs> so just Are so you, you okay? know, mechanically, what happens when you have a full injury track? Uh, you're badly hurt. You are basically, uh, you're, you're, if Soren takes another hit, Soren, Soren Oh no, is no I more. wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to hurt him. I was oh, like, I, I know, like but unfortunately that's what happened. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh what no, I, I mean do. when I'm like kind of poking him with my foot to see if he's okay. Mm. Uh, Armin, Armin made fire and, and Soren's tail went on fire when Soren oh. tied up Armin. Um, but, but Soren tied up Armin first before fire went on tail. I think we're gonna need to rest. <gasps> yes. I, I don't wanna, I do wanna say the one place that we could, at least the one place I know that I we know. could have rested is currently up in flames. Uh, I mean, can sleep right here on the ground in the What fire. about Abigail's house? We could ask Abigail or we could ask. Vinny, if he's still in town, if he knows a place, but... And, and speaking of Abigail, did you did you get anything? Anything I useful? Got nothing. She's going to make us pancakes in the yeah. morning. Oh. We got oh. buttermilk. Armin like pancakes. <gasps> I know That's you like we pancakes. Got. Okay. I mean, yeah. buttermilk pancakes are better than nothing, I, I guess. It's true. Uh, she didn't see anything. She was uh, yeah. not paying attention to the cats. She said she hates them. Oh. Me too. Um, uh, so the cat's I think I'm in gonna town, Armin. Not you. The cat's in town. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, you're, you're good. very special. I, I, yeah. Very different cat. Yeah. Cute. I'm, I'm just gonna pick up Sorin over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, definitely his ass is facing back, just in case he gets any ideas while he's sleeping, uh, while he's out cold. Uh, I was about to say he gave a faint last part. Little, little I knew idea. It. It's like I knew it. I, I just go like I think he had one of those eureka moments in his dreams. You know when ideas come to you in your dreams. I think that that just and you write them down and then not anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> so. So are you heading to Aunt way. Abigail's? Yeah, I think we're gonna go back and try to sleep there. <laughs> are there okay. any like food stalls or anything that might have buttermilk? Oh, good question. Uh, you can go look for buttermil buttermilk if you'd like. Oh yeah, and I'm looking for that sauce you want. The sauce? 
The saw. The saw. The rusted saw. Oh, the saw. saw. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for that special saw. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, okay. So, I think uh, four of you are headed to Aunt Abigail's first. And Ace, you're going to try and look for some stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I think we're going to... We'll follow Ace for a moment. Ace... Um, are you trying to just buy some stuff, or are you trying to steal some stuff? Hmm. Um. I'm gonna try to steal. I had a feeling. <laughs> okay. So, what I'd like for you to do then, Ace, is, uh, <laughs> do you have a roguish feat that will be applicable in this situation? Uh, I've got pickpocket, sleight of hand, sneak, pick lock, and I can hide too. Mm. I got a lot of stuff. Okay. I think that this is probably. Let's see what sneak is. So. Let's see. Sneak. Get into or out of places without being seen. Uh, I think it's probably the best situation for you. All right. Okay. So, the risk, before you're aware, of failing or having a partial success when you are sneaking is that you might break something, draw unwanted attention, or plunge into danger. Go ahead and attempt a roguish feat for me. Here we go. I'm going to play myself. It's okay if I get in trouble. Mm. Oh, crap. Ooh, that's unfortunate. A five. So, why don't you describe what goes wrong? Where were you going first? To look for the buttermilk or for the yeah, saw? Yeah, it was the buttermilk. I'm more excited about the pancakes. Yeah, yeah. The buttermilk, uh, there's probably some, like, grocer or something in the near the center of town. What do you think goes wrong here, um... As you either break something, draw unwanted attention, or plunge into danger. I think I'm going to accidentally bump into something and mm -hmm. break it. So I'll be walking up trying to be all sneaky. And then one of my quills hits something. Mm -hmm. I was really I was really betting that part would be a bald spot, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I think you uh, accidentally knock over. There's probably like a potted plant or something uh, with some flowers, uh, and it just breaks. And there's a few people that are probably getting some groceries and whatnot, and you hear somebody yell, Hey! Hey, what are you doing there? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! I just have such a big butt! As oh. you're like clearly like reaching for something and like... Potted plan has fallen onto the ground. Uh, you can see that there's like this old, there's this old uh, uh, rabbit that's making its way over to you. You can see the uh, you know like thick patches of gray in their hair and like their whiskers are sort of drooping and they walk over. And they've got these big glasses on. Hey, hey! I'm sorry. I just wanted to buy some buttermilk because because I just, I got. Try and trick an NPC, please. On an eight, when you try and trick an NPC, you can choose one instead because normally they would take the bait and do what you want. However, they hesitate, they stumble, or they overreact. Mm. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I'll make them hesitate. Uh, oh, um, well, I, um, uh, it's not that big. I, um, uh, um, are you talking about my butt? Uh, mm, oh, uh, uh, I deserve this buttermilk for free now. Oh. Give me or I'll tell the governor you object to me. What? Oh, all right, here you are. 
Thank you. Sorry about the plant. You turn and, and I'll knock another one off. over. <laughs> oh That's my gosh! Creep! My petunias. <laughs> and you sneak out. Meanwhile, the rest of the group is heading towards Aunt Abigail's. Now listen, I know Villigan and Ace were just with me to see Aunt Abigail. Aunt Abigail's real nice. But if you're gonna hurt her, I will hurt you. And uh, also, uh, don't mind the fairy dust. It's just cigarette uh, ash. Fairy. I'm, I'm not, I don't plan on hurting her. Was that an issue? Did uh, Yeah, I feel like you wanted to burn her house yeah. down. Ah, okay. oh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. That question. Don't mention the F word near the house. No uh, fires okay. in the house. Okay? Okay. None. Ever. Okay? I appreciate it, lady. Terrified. I appreciate it. Longfoot is like, yeah, well, Longfoot like, looks at Billy and like, oh. Every time Nettlesper talks to me at this point, I'm just like, <laughs> yes, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> like those... he, got, he just stands up to a net and just goes, What did you do? And I threatened where... to pull out Armin's little toes. <laughs> you're, you're That's terrifying. my family. You're, yeah, no, I, I honestly respect that. I don't think I've ever respected anyone more. Nothing also, sicker than terrifying. possum blood. I think that's quite literal as well. I, pots and blood has it's unusually thick, but okay, yeah, and no. it's stinky too. Anyways, Aunt How Abigail's sick. real nice. A little, little rough around the edges. I'm ignoring that question. Uh, I'm gonna ask real gently if we can sleep here. She might say no. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you you approach uh, Aunt Abigail, and she's not uh, on the porch anymore. It's getting dark. Um, so you can see that there's some lights coming from inside her little shack. Um, there's like some, probably some unmatching shutters on the windows that you can see some, some light trickling through. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna politely knock on the door, I think, like a guest. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock, knock. Hold your horses, I'll be right there. Anything for you, Aunt Abigail. Oh, is that She's you, Nettle? Nice. Should we have horses? She's no, not horses. nice. You hear the sound of like twelve locks being undone. <laughs> One, two, four, eight. Uh, is this, this is more of a dangerous time than I thought. Yeah. Oh, hello again, dear. What are you doing hey, back here? Um, well, our friend Soren passed out, and I was wondering if you had a place we could bunk up for the night. Did I interrupt your soaps? <sighs> oh, no, I hadn't gotten started yet. All right, good, perfect. Um, I, I, you know, my friend's out looking for your buttermilk, and you saw right now, I was hoping it would be payment enough for a night's rest for the gang, oh, not just for me, obviously. Nice. Please try and persuade. An NPC? Roll with John. I, I have a move called Pleasant Facade. How does that work? I don't know. What does it say? It says, when you suck up to or otherwise butter up an unsuspecting NPC, roll with charm. On a 10 plus, hold three. On a seven to nine, hold two. Spend your hold one for one to deflect their suspicion or aggression away from you to someone or someone else. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so basically you've got, uh, you roll a charm and mm -hmm. you have two to three points that you might be able to spend to um to basically use to to do those things so give it a try <laughs> at a 10 you get three excellent so yeah you you can spend one here if you'd like okay uh what it, where what Am I just, is it a specific thing or am I just? Mm, I, it's probably suspicion. Okay. I would like her to not only be not suspicious of us, but to allow us to sleep inside her house for the evening. Okay. So, um, you've deflected her suspicion about the, uh, unconscious skunk on <laughs> Longfoot's shoulder. Uh, mm -hmm. but you're still going to have to try and persuade. Okay. So I roll another charm mm -hmm. for that. 
Okay. Armin, help. Yeah, You're absolutely. Good. You can spend an exhaustion. How do you help, Armin? Armin like watching soaps. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, 12. Uh, absolutely. So, oh, no problem, dear. You're welcome anytime. Come on in. Immediately, you're all hit by a tidal wave of tobacco smoke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are the I walls remember. yellow? <laughs> like, like bacon grease. Like, mm. she's just, it constantly smells like old bacon and cigarettes. Mm. Yep. <laughs> it smells really good in here. Oh, thank you. I've yeah. just, I've been trying to keep the place smelling nice. And you can see she points to like a few tin cans and there's dead flowers in the tin cans. They've just all <laughs> wilted from the smoke. Uh, doing a it wonderful looks job. looks great. I have looks a mini since I was just a, just a wee possum. Oh, well, yes, it pain? has been a no, long time. It's a nice buttercup yellow, Abigail. Really? It was supposed to be a white, but I think it might have changed over time. Oh, golly, it's really flattering on the walls. I appre- I, I really like what you've done with the place. Um, uh, wait, I don't want to interrupt the bristle and the bee if that's starting soon, Armin, uh, if you wanted to watch the- the yeah, with bristle her. and bee. Oh, that'll be nice. Uh, I'm just gonna- is there a place I could make up everyone's beds? You got- I don't really remember the layout of your house, Dan uh, Abigail. I got some blankets I can give you. Maybe a few throw pillows. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll grab those and uh, I'll. I'll is the, there's a guest room, right? Maybe I could pallet us out all on the floor. I wouldn't really call it a guest room. It's more like a storage area. Do you think uh, there's enough storage for six? Six of us? Six. There's only five of you here. You got another one oh. coming. Yeah, remember Ace from earlier, oh, and Abigail? They went right, to get your buttermilk right, and your right, saw. Right, it's right. all the, it's all the, it's all the cigarettes against the head. It's the smoke. It's the fumes. I tell you, you gotta crack a window. <gasps> I smell so good yeah. in here. I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Yeah, it smells great. It smells it's so like, good. It's yeah. like being back in the casinos in the swamp. Uh, it really brings I me back. would like to try one of these cigarettes, please. Yeah, but uh, Aunt Abigail has to light it for you, mm. Villigan. Yes. Oh, you want to try a cigarette? All right. Oh, no, I'll, pay, gonna... I'll pay you for it, Aunt Abigail. I'm sorry about that. Please try and you persuade really an NPC, to, uh, Villigan. <laughs> the charm? Yes. Excellent. Oh, oh less excellent. <laughs> she says. <laughs> Well, you're welcome to smoke, but I don't have any to spare. And you can clearly, <laughs> there's like a carton that's like sticking out of her, like she's got like a little, you know, she's got a little house coat, you know, and it's got, it's like yellowing like flowers. Pocket. Yeah, yeah, and she, you know, it's just got, oh. she's got like a pocket there. Uh, are you using uh, these? And I assume the cigarette butts everywhere. Like, it's, you know, there's like overflowing trays kind of like filled with ash and cigarette butts. <laughs> You wanna smoke, smoke one of those? <laughs> yeah, she What's really wrong with you, Milligan? That's an interesting decision. I thought uh, I might collect them, maybe, and then I could make a new one, a better one, a bigger one out of the remains of the old ones. I do that with mice sometimes. My, hold on, wait, wait. Can we rewind real quick? Rewind I real don't quick. Actually, I'm not sure. I want to know, Longfoot. Don't want, I'm okay. I don't really want to watch soaps. There's a knock at the door. Oh, maybe that's your friend. Check the peephole in, Abigail. You never know. I always do, dear. She walks back over to the door. She slides open the peephole. Looks outside. Ah, oh, I think it's your friend. It's getting dark out. She oh, starts God. to slide open the locks. <laughs> Eight, thirteen, <laughs> two. This is a very well fortified uh, mouse. This is actually very impressive. Fifty six. It's like a fortress in here. Oh, hello, dear. And Akasha's waiting outside. Hi. I didn't find 
the saw yet. Um, but I found the buttermilk. That was oh, really well, nice aren't you nice? That grocer is a pig, by the way. And I don't mean like in a nice way. Because pigs are very intelligent. What did he do to you? Body. He objectified me. Body objectified you? Is that like yeah. me and Abigail? I accidentally, I accidentally knocked body. over a plant. What? And I was like, oh no, it's because my butt, you know? And he was like, well, it's not that big. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Do you want me to... So I got I can, like... <laughs> I, 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 I can, I like... Fine. I think we're all right. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we should I'm kill getting... the grocer. If okay. you want, he could have an accident. No, 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 no. I just wanted the free buttermilk. Uh, okay. okay. Now do you be a dear and go into the refrigerator. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll take your buttermilk to the refrigerator. What? <laughs> okay, and I'm you... gonna just... And you go inside and, and get out the bottle. It's a little bottle and it says pure water on it. Pure water. Yeah. Yeah. Do I know what this is? Why? No, you don't. Okay. All right. I'm going to no bring roll it for over. It, to... Unfortunately, I'm going to bring it over to Aunt Abigail. He ain't going to Abigail. What? What is that? Oh, so this is something that the kids have been talking about. Uh. I haven't tried it yet, but it might help your friend. Uh, oh, oh, uh, you mean... Um, sorry, I completely forgot it was even on my... Maybe yeah. we should yeah. smell that first to make sure it doesn't kill him. <gasps> It'll be fine, I swear. Okay, okay that's right. She seems pretty trustworthy to me, to yeah, be honest. All right. Yeah, what, uh, should you just pour it in his mouth, Aunt Abigail? Yeah, no, it. I'm not gonna just give him... Why would I give him just the water? I gotta make some sweet tea. Oh, yeah. You, you a cup of sweet tea? <laughs> Do you think you can make enough for the rest of us? That's my favorite from when you would make the breakfast and a big jug of cold sweet tea. Are you going to put the lemons in I it? I don't have too much of the pure water, but that should be fine. All right. All right. All right. You all go sit in the living room and, and don't change the channel. I'll turn uh, the volume up so you can hear it in the kitchen, Aunt Abigail. It's already loud enough, don't worry about it. Can I watch you make the potion, please? What potion? It's sweet tea. You never had yes. sweet tea, Villigan? What are you, she, a hooligan? She, she says, go into the cupboard over there. <gasps> you open it up, and there's just like a, a cylinder with a roughshod cap on it. And you can just, it's like scrawled letters on it. It says, sweet tea. <laughs> you can hear the voice when you yeah. read it. <laughs> where did you find this beautiful hub? What do you mean, where did I find it? Lipton makes it. Come on, <laughs> hand it over. You must show me Mr. Lipton. I must find him. <laughs> hey! Hey, Armin, has Villigan ever been to a grocery store? What that? Okay, never mind. Armin gonna go watch soap. She takes it out. And there's a little plastic. <laughs> there's like a little plastic scoop inside. And it's just... It's not even real tea. <laughs> <laughs> you expected real tea from Aunt Abigail. We were not getting real tea <laughs> from Aunt Abigail. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> she doesn't even use real butter. <laughs> and she just kind of, she kind of, she she's got like a, a, a clearly uh, not so clean pitcher. It's a little, you know, it's a little tobacco stained the the pitcher. And she she pours the pure water in, and she's got a big wooden spoon, and she pours the the sweet tea mix in there, and she just starts. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts. <laughs> Oh no! Okay. <laughs> She's got several mismatched uh, cups as she starts to put them together. Let me help you, Anna Miguel. <laughs> Miguel. She said, "All right, <laughs> you can pour it." Okay, and, okay. Yeah. And you start to pour it, and you fill out the cups, and yeah, um, we're getting some background noise from somebody really loud. Um. And, uh, we, uh, yeah, you, you head on into the, um, into the living room and 
she's got there's some kind of soap on and there's the sweet tea is pure sugar it's pure sugar and water but as you begin to drink it and you start to give some to Soren, you start to feel amazing and you can remove either one exhaustion or an injury your choice I'm going to hold Soren's mouth open. Who wants to pour? I will. I'm going to pour it down. No! Do it slowly! Nope. <laughs> He's right, drowning. So I added an injury back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Are you okay? <gasps> you, you, you good? You good, Soren? Hello? Oh, Soren? Soren starts Soren. to come to. Oh. Slap in his face, Ram. Oh. Soren, wake up! She watches Days of Our Hives. Oh, I, I think they're really. coming on after this. Oh. I love that soap. Where am I? What am I doing? You You're were brought back with science. science. Who, who it was sweet tea, first of all. It was, it was just, it was just sweet tea. She made you a magical potion and brought you back. Oh. And he turns slowly and sees this, like, large <laughs> impossum. Oh. Oh. Gods, what? That's Aunt Abigail. That's my Aunt Abigail, Soren. If you ask her real nicely, she will give you some ash. I can build a <laughs> ventilator if I need to. I nice like the smell. You. Oh. Hello. She's letting us sleep here tonight, and she just made you a very nice sweet tea. And all you see is like Soren's lips ball up in a wall. What was it? It's pure water. The kids are all talking about it. They've been going to this place called well, Pure Water, and they said that there's this pool, and it's like a huh? well, it's I like a know. real, it's a really no, 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 nice no, 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 uh, spring or she... something. How? It's got How? a pool in it, Aunt Abigail. Not a pool, a pool. And she gives oh, you like a little cool. flick, cool. like on I'm your sorry, ear. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about the kids going to some sort of strip joint. Where no, I haven't talked to Tommy in a long time. Thank God for that one. He's a he's a bad egg, and Abigail, and I'm saying that because I'm also a bad egg. <sighs> was, I, 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 I'm tired. And it would do well if you don't talk about my past in front of your friends. <laughs> hey, I didn't mention your past. It was you talking about the pole long for what were you saying? Uh, I was just gonna say you said the kids have been going to pure water <laughs> Do any of these kids happen to be goats? Well, maybe there, I think there were some goats Was oh. there is there a fox that hangs around with them as well? Oh now that I think about it, yeah, I think there was. Thank you, Aunt Abigail. I think you've just given us some really useful information. Um, Wait, do you know where it is, though? Um, sh everybody shut up. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah, it's starting. Um, I'm gonna go sleep in that pile of ash. Uh, oh, there's me, a me bed too. in the bed. I made you a nap. She's disgusting. She's disgusting. Goodbye. Oh, her too. Okay. Yeah, they don't go anywhere. Oh, that I hate him. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, so yeah. horrible. He's a slime ball. Uh, you don't have yeah. to worry about him. He dies in season three Did anyway. Did just slap him? Wait, oh, Soren. Oh, he's worse what? than that grocer. I was saving a time. Okay, he plays dead for two years. It's impossible. <gasps> Can you please shut up? I know it's a reason, but I like it, okay? All right, I'm sorry. Do you need anything that needs fixing around here? Yeah? What about that? Fixing? Yeah. And he just walks off and goes into the kitchen uh, and looks for something broken. Oh, there's plenty of broken stuff. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you said fixing, you actually caught her attention from the soap. <laughs> oh. She slowly turns around. Oh, no. Fixing, you say? Yep. That I want to use a move nice. called repair and hopefully get in good favors. Oh, you hit the nail on the head, Soren. Uh, okay. 
Absolutely. She begins pointing out all of the broken things in the house. And just about every single thing in the house is broken. <laughs> so... Soren, let's see. What does your repair move require? Uh, let's see. Uh, my toolbox? Um, yeah, so you can de you can spend depletion. And I'm going to say, if you do, for each depletion you spend... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you're going to get reputation with the denizens. Sweet. I'm depleting the hell out of this bag. All of it. You're going to use all of it? Okay, maybe not. Maybe one more because I'm almost done. Because <laughs> just to remind you what happens with harm, uh, depletion represents a character's all-purpose funds and assorted goods and supplies. Uh, so That means I have to steal more, right? I I still have the three things that I stole. Am I able to give him the value? Does that count towards that? Oh. So I'll tell you what you can do. Um, so you can clear depletion by gaining new supplies or money, filling your pockets with useful items and coin again. I would say absolutely. You can spend one value for each depletion that you want to clear. Sweet. Here, how about have? three of these? <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we're going to clear three. That makes me fully not depleted, and I'm going to deplete myself to three again. Awesome. So you can gain three checkboxes uh, from zero uh, of the reputation. Uh, it's on the first page at the bottom. Yeah, I clicked the wrong one. Okay. Right. Oh. So your reputation, you see there's a, a plus add. You can just denizens. add for denizens if you don't have the denizens yet. One, two, three. All right, cool. Awesome. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> so, much of the next few hours, Soren spending repairing things around the house. Are the rest of you doing anything, or are you calling a night? <laughs> calling it a night. Um, I'm, I was just going to, like, make everyone's beds up in the back room. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I borrow think... a pair of Aunt Abigail's slippers. Oh, how horrible is this guest room? Are we thinking? What is it like? Oh, it's like, I think it's hoarderish. Like, the, it's just piled. Like, my grandmother had a room that was just like, she's nothing like Aunt Abigail, but she had a room that was just, like, piled with random stuff for a really long time. And there was, like, a bed in it, but that was it. And that's all you could really fit in it. And you just, like, scoot it in. I think it's like that. So we're just <laughs> trying to So there's the best, one like, bed. There's one there's bed in there. <laughs> yeah, and like enough pathway where yeah. like maybe you could lay down a blanket or two on the ground. Mm -hmm. There's still a restraint I like to point out. Is uh, Armin has been Ooh. unrestrained. It's been uh right. it's been taken apart. Could have been, think, yeah, yeah. Could have been used as a bed. Oh well. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so you still have it. It's still oh. you still have it, in the back but back. it okay, was cool. it was taken apart basically by uh, by Longfoot. Okay, um, yeah, fair enough. And uh, Armin and Villigan, what are you doing? Kind of sleeping. You're just passed out. <laughs> you found a Cat random spot, in probably in the living room, and uh, yeah. Okay, so you've made up some comfy places to rest, and you're resting. And Soren, you stay up for a little while with Aunt Abigail sort of pointing things out to you and repairing. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Getting mm. yourselves ready for the next day. So, just so you're all aware, injuries are not that easy to fix in this, in this system. You basically have to see a healer or run into situations where you can repair uh, injuries uh, through uh, other means, such as this pure water that uh, Aunt Abigail is talking about. Um, uh, otherwise, you have to see a healer to repair these injuries. So, you relax for the night, and in doing so, you can clear any exhaustion that you may have. Sweet. And... <laughs> You have a, a nice uh, cough-filled evening full of uh, <laughs> smoke and, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's horrific. Um, but you have a nice smoke-filled evening at Aunt Abigail's. as Lungs feeling great. As you prepare, mm. possibly, to try mm. and find fire 
and potentially get this Miriam Miriam Sablefur out of town. But that'll have to wait till next week. Uh, no! We're, we're not going to do... do any of it, are we? We've got no one. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We're right going right. to make some pancakes. I'm going to find Mr. Lipton. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you, Luxy, for basically making one of my favorite NPCs ever. <laughs> so good. Amazing. Oh, so good. Good. That was uh, the real Jersey energy, darling. I love it. <laughs> See, Faye, Faye and I live in close proximity to New Jersey, so we kind of have that. We understand how that works. Yep. Um, <laughs> I feel like Jersey must have a lot in common with the South. <laughs> um, I just met an Ab- yes. an Ab- an Ab- an Ab- yes. I've been to a part of Jersey that, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, they got a lot never of ants. Never get out and try to pump gas uncles. again. Never. <laughs> you trying to pump your own gas there? You can't do that. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, great session, everybody. That was so much fun. Uh, oh yeah! Big big thank you uh, to Magpie Games for making this happen. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. Um, absolutely having a, so so much fun with this system. I you know, I'm always of the opinion that like, I love doing a wide variety of different kinds of of TTRPGs. You know, there's it's just like watching TV a lot of times. You know, sometimes you're in the mood for horror. Sometimes you're in the mood for something lighthearted. And um, I like doing these lighthearted shows a lot because I think everybody needs a reset, you know, here and there. You know, <laughs> they just need to kind of just relax and have a good time and, and not really get too stressed out here and there. So um, uh, I love reading those messages where, where people were just say, you know, that how, how like they were having a tough time and, and we helped cheer them up. That's always the best. And this system, I think, is one of those that can really help with that. So um, I look forward to playing it more in the future, too. Um, so big thank you so much to Magpie Games Um, and uh, thank you so much to our wonderful Mm. chat much love to you thank you for the love and the support and thank you to my wonderful players Uh, we're going to do our end of session stuff uh, along with your shout outs Um, so uh, when we when you do your shout out you can talk about your um, your uh, your drives and if you think you achieved uh, anything there, and if you're gonna get any advancements, um, let's start with Faye. Hi, everybody. I'm Faye Lin. Uh, I'm a voice actor for video games and stuff, and I also stream here on Twitch full time. So you can find me at twitchtv Lin. Um, in terms of my drives and stuff, um, I would argue that because the pancakes are going to be amazing, it is a serious payday that you stole that buttermilk. So I would argue that my greed drive was fulfilled. When you secure a serious payday or treasure, and I think the buttermilk in this case was a treasure, yes. It's going to be amazing. And Abigail, it certainly is. Yes, so exciting. The treasure made it with love and ash. (laughs) <laughs> and go follow all these wonderful people. They're amazing. Thank you. But make sure you're following Phelan. And uh, yeah. remember, it is September. So consider throwing some subs uh, at our at our wonderful cast here. Go support them. They're amazing. Get yourself some emotes. Uh, thank you so much, Faye. Uh, Luxie, why don't you go next? Um, Hello. I was thinking, I'm not sure. I, I feel like I'm always accomplishing an illicit or criminal goal while maintaining a believable veneer of innocence. So I can't ever tell when I'm failing at that. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure what I did today. That may have been that. Uh, Besides swindling my sweet Aunt Abigail into housing six illicit criminals. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, uh, breaking up some fights. But... I don't think I really broke the law. Mm-mm. I think I was a good, I was a good possum today. Mm-hmm. Possibly. <laughs> you know what? Oh, Thank you very much. <laughs> so that, oh, I'm not even gonna shout myself out. I think I'm just gonna leave the show. <laughs> I just have it in every shout out that I'm a part of and just go straight to the puns. <laughs> Somebody had to fill in um, for Murgles or Zagaticus. <laughs> 
Let me um so yeah, I don't think I don't think that I I advanced at all. Okay. Okay. Which fair fe- enough. it feels wrong. Yeah. Um hi. My name's Lexi Games. I'm a variety streamer. I got a new PC, so Oh yeah. Last week when I was like in my wife's office, it's over now. It's all over now. <laughs> you um, did have great <laughs> luck though in witchcraft and wizardry I when you were know. playing from Bean's office. I know. I'm hoping that the luck continues in the new PC. I'm gonna sprinkle a little of Anne Abigail's ash inside. Of it. <laughs> inside of it? Oh god! Just like a little cigarette ash. No. Um. Anyway. I love like uh, if I you mention games. if you mention her ash, like people think she's dead and like you have her cremated, <laughs> but it's just her cigarette no, ash. No, 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 just her cigarette ash. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm gonna take like a little vial of it out of the house and just carry it around. <laughs> oh, I ran out of rainbow sand. Out. Now it's just ash. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Like, no. <laughs> no, it's not good. She just, she just talks. <laughs> um, if, if I'm not here, uh, and you want to see more of me on Table Story, I'm also in Witchcraft and Wizardry, which is, uh, just as chaotic, but way nicer of a character. That's complete opposite, actually, I would probably consider, except both ridiculous. Uh, and I play lots of video games. I'm playing Overcooked with my wife, and then I have no other real plans. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please go follow Luxie. She's wonderful and absolutely Sweet. hilarious. If you weren't yes. able to tell from the session today, uh, thank you so much, Luxie. Uh, Tech, why don't you go next? Hello, I'm Frank, aka Tech or Technique. Um, okay, let's start with the drives. Yeah, I did pretty much every damn thing possible. Um, how many times can I advance? It's only two. <laughs> Is it only two? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, then I can do it twice. Then I I was greedy as hell. I stole so, a bunch of bows. Huh? So you can do uh you, you can do each one. So greed and ambition. Okay. So you get yep. you get two advancements. Sweet. Do I have to explain them? Or you know? No, you can. We we okay. went through them in the beginning. I don't think we have okay, to go cool. through them again. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pump that luck up twice because luck. Fucked me up today. Uh, <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, Let me just double check. Oh, uh, okay. You might only be able to do one at a time. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind then. Uh, Every time I rolled, it was luck. I got lucked up. You could also <laughs> do something to your harm tracks. You could increase those. Seems like you guys are blowing through those arm tracks yeah, mighty I'm, quick. I'm pretty much half dead. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me, let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to do one in one. I'm going to advance injury. Okay. Do I just hit advance and then click it? Okay, yep, there. You can just Whoa, do one, one more injury. Yep. And then I get two roguish feats, right? You get, uh, yes, if you want to do roguish feats or you can do one for luck. I'm going to do blind side. Oh, I can do like one luck and one roguish feet? No. You have oh, okay. to choose. I was about to say that's it's double either two okay. roguish feet, up to two <sighs> roguish feet, or one luck. You know what? I'm. Hmm. Oh, do we have to? We get to add to weapon skills too, right? If you want to do weapon skills, that's another option. How many do you get? Two or one? So weapon skills, you can take up to two new weapon skills. Dope. Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna Preparing do preparing for the next group. long foot fight. Yep. I know. <laughs> Forget about the quest. This is just gonna be Let's PvP go. for the last PvP. episode. Uh, yeah, I'm a storm in a group because that sounds fun. Um, don't even know what that does, but it sounds fun. And uh, I'm gonna do disarm because I'm gonna hit somebody in the wrist with my hammer. Okay. There you go. Sounds uh-huh. good. Um, Who are you? Where can people find you? Oh, yeah. That stuff. Uh, that stuff. Um, you can find me over on uh, twitch.tv slash technique. No, you know, E, just a Q. I play a lot of RPGs, uh, mainly like MMOC RPGs, ARP, anything that's an RPG with the story progression. I play it. Um, also, you can find me here on Fridays, escaping death narrowly. And um, you can find me here today because I'm an animal and I'm very sad that it's going to be over soon. Uh, wink, wink. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, on Twitter at Technique TV because I like like being there. Uh, hopefully after this, we too, hopefully me and me and Miss Phelan will be playing Overcooked as well to practice for Dynamite. So hopefully we uh, can do it. I'm really bad at that game, so hopefully I can get better. 
I don't think anybody's really good at Overcooked. It's, Why yeah. is that game so hard? Anyway, whatever. I'll never prepare for that. Are you practicing for a tournament? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> they told me there was no professionals. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! Anyway, yeah, that's what we're gonna do tonight, and okay. pray. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> thank, uh, you. thank you. Thank uh, you, Leah. You go next. Hello, I have been Villigan, Chaos Incarnate, kinda. Um, now, arguably, I escaped. I love from how certain... like everybody's. Advancement today has started with arguably, arguably, arguably if you bend maybe. the rules slightly, <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> advance when you escape from certain death or incarceration. Now, I was almost incarcerated. <laughs> you escaped the fire. That's well, the one like right there. A certain death. <laughs> you don't have to arguably. That you been so you long ago. <laughs> Encircling so both of you. There were then. houses on. You're crawling. Marine crawling. People screaming the house. in the houses. <laughs> That's about as um, exact of an explanation as possible. You know, when you put it like that, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a plus one to cunning in that case because I've got minus one and I think I might need some help with that. Um. Uh, apart from that, yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Leah. I am on twitch.tv forward slash Leah. Playing a lot of Red Dead RP at the moment, and I'm definitely not addicted, and I'm definitely not going to go on it now when it's 3 a.m. and I've got stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 100% she's going on, in case you didn't understand what she was saying there, Chad. Um, <laughs> you can catch me on Mist Light on Thursdays as well, um, if you want to. But yeah, it's been so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leah. In case you guys are curious, that's the only reason that PB is in the chat uh, during the show. She's just <laughs> waiting for Leah to be done. <laughs> So she can hop into red. <laughs> we got bandits to kill. Fix. Have, have Cord rallied up for this. I just. Oh my okay. gosh. Uh, thank you, Leah. Please make sure you're going to find uh, Leah. Anything else, Leah? Sorry, did I cut you off? No. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> Please go follow Leah. Thank you so much, Leah. Absolutely fantastic. My pleasure. Uh, Drac, why don't you go next? Oh, yeah, me. I'm Jaconix or Jack for short. Um, don't follow me on Twitch. I don't stream there. <laughs> follow me on Twitter because I stream literally anywhere and everywhere else. Um, and that's at Jaconix. It's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. Um, I have a lot of things, but the main thing I would like to shout out is that I'm the co-founder and the event organizer of Friends Roll Dice, and we're doing a charity event for the rest of this month, every Friday. Um, we're raising money for um, Charity Water. And uh, so we're going to be doing, it's in coordination with BIPOC Vamp Day, which I don't know if anyone's been hearing that about, about that. It's just all people of color being vampires. So we're playing a bunch of vampire themed or vampire adjacent TTRPGs. Um, we just finished one yesterday. Um, we played a D&D game, D&D one show where everyone played vampires. Um, next week on Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be playing, um, I believe we're going to be playing Flats and Flats and Fangs, which is a indie game made by POC, a good friend of mine, Miriam, where everyone plays vampires as well. I'm at 7pm Eastern, so be there. If you can't donate, tell someone who can. Um, where is this? Yeah, Friends Roll Dice. Um, friends, friends Roll, roll dice. dice on, yeah, on t- Twitch. Friends who roll dice. Who roll dice? Yeah. Okay. Who? Yeah. Friends who roll dice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the, I'm gonna put this in the, in the channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout it out properly. Friends, and, yeah. who roll dice. Go follow now, please, everybody. That's pretty much it. That's important anyway. Uh, everything else is on my tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Drac. And your end of session stuff. Yes, I kind of forgot about that. So technically. Um, but if you think about it, Nettle is still alive, you know? <laughs> they're my wards, they're still alive. They've been, uh, they've gone through time where they haven't taken any damage. So I think my ward and is safe. Abigail didn't kill me. Yeah. Oh. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for this though. Um, 
what are the advancement options again? Oh yeah, there's plenty. So you it, you know, uh, you know, could add some harm to your harm track if you want to do that, or you can add to uh, your attributes. Uh, that might be good. Or you can get a new move if you want to do that. There's a lot of different things. I think I might get up my luck, but I kind of like the idea of the rabbit not being lucky. Um, <laughs> oh, that is good. Honestly, anyone, it, I think it makes sense because if you have a rabbit's foot, the rabbit you took it from was not lucky. Not lucky. <laughs> no. Was not lucky at all. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take two roguish feats. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Track. Last but not least, Cat. Hello. My name is. Cat. <laughs> <and> I just. <laughs> I hope that wasn't like your phone. <laughs> they were my Pringles. Oh, oh no! Oh, so even much worse. worse. Oh, so <laughs> I wish it was your phone. So <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm Cat. Hello. I am a uh, chaotic ball of uh, fun. I recently streamed Power Washing Simulator, where I attempted to troll my. Uh, viewers, but instead I trolled myself because that game uh, doesn't let you half-ass it. You actually have to finish the job. So I was <laughs> extremely disappointed, and I had a lot to say about Did the you game. Did you write a Steam review? <laughs> Honestly, I'm literally going to write an email to them, and I'm just going to be like, look, I appreciate your game and everything that it has to offer, but the fact that you are forcing me to finish a job instead of half-ass it, you know, is, hey. <laughs> I, I literally bought the game so I could half-ass I'm American, okay? Don't you understand? <laughs> I have some questions about what you thought the game was going to be like. Me too, honestly. I thought, I literally thought I was like, oh, I'm going to just, you know, clean a window and then I can say, it. job's done. No, they're like, you have to clean the whole window and you have to clean around the house and you have to clean the pool. Even the so pool's like, empty. Like and the you just got their first job. And you're like, what do you mean? <laughs> I have to clean the whole floor? I have to clean, I have to clean this whole empty pool? What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we've got that. And I also have a, a game coming up where I play as a fish. It's like a, it's like a, almost like a simulation kind of game where I play as a little goldfish. And I explore the world, hmm. so that'll be interesting. You can find me at uh, Twitch, which is I'm Cat, or on Twitter, which is I'm Cat Cat. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Thank you. All that. Thank you, Cat. Uh, what about your What about your end of session stuff? Your Your advances. So, I could have sworn that I picked for my drives. One of them was crime, and it wasn't infamy. Mm -hmm. I change it oh. since I haven't leveled up. I haven't advanced at all. Yeah, I think definitely. Yes! Absolutely. <laughs> all right, in that case, then I totally uh, pulled off uh, illegal capers by setting houses on fire. Yeah. Yeah, you and did. And I feel like I also toppled a tyrannical or dangerously overbearing figure, which is the mayor. Sure, why not? <laughs> you toppled the mayor? I said I mean, it by, by, you know, I, I, I help. Mm, I'm, mm, uh, mm, uh, there's three episodes. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the wig! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm going to add... If I add cutting, cutting, that's not that's not her at all. So we're gonna add more luck. <laughs> so you have a max <laughs> of two on luck. Max of two. Oh well, I already have two luck, so I can't do that. Can't Let's do, do that one. Strong and lucky. <laughs> okay. That's a good combo, right? Okay. Right, like two yeah. might, you know. It's Keep in mind, you you have a lot of options as well. You don't necessarily have to. I can't. Do, I can't get another move, correct? You can get another move, or you could get one from a different playbook. I want. It's a distraction. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> Take it's a distraction. Okay. That's one. That's one move. advancement. Yeah. And then I will also do. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can change your harm track. 
Do you want to add something to the harm track at another checkbox? You know, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because you all seem to be harm track prone. I've, yeah, we haven't I, well, taken any harm whatsoever. Yeah, yet. we haven't taken. I've just been. <laughs> I've just been exhausted. Yet. Uh, so I'm going to go with danger mask. Okay. Danger mask. It is. Two more moves for our scoundrel. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Cat. I'm Wax Steven. Yeah. I have been your your GM of Doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you so much for being with us, <laughs> Chat. Uh, and thank you so much to my wonderful players. It was so much fun. I had such a great time. Uh, thank you so much to Drac. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Luxy. Thank you, Faylin. Thank you, Cat. Thank you, Technique, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you so much. It was just so, so much fun. Um, and uh, I had a blast. I had a, an absolute blast. Me thank too. you again to Magpie Games for making this happen. Uh, it's uh, just so much fun. It's, it's a great game that you've got here. Um, I'm, I'm honestly loving it. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. It's so much fun. Um, and, uh, you know, even if we went, like, really hard into the lore, like, the lore is fun. Like, it's really good. Um, mm. And I love the, like, the conflicts between all the different, uh, you know, all the different factions and whatnot. It's really great. Uh, as you, And you're playing this, you know, this other one, basically, that just doesn't really care about any of their squabbles and you just want to do what you want, um, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, Murder hobos. Exactly. It makes total sense. <laughs> and I love that that's what it is. Like, that's the only one that you get. Like, because they just know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vagabonds are the only ones that make sense for the players. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for being here, everybody. Uh, tomorrow, we've got Faint Dawn here on Table Story. That starts at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and on Tuesday, we have Witchcraft and Wizardry. So if you like the vibe for this show, uh, it's a similar kind of thing with Witchcraft and Wizardry, uh, even more wholesome uh, over there. And the story's getting really intense right now. Um, so you should definitely check it out. Luxie's on that show, too. Um, thank you so much for being here, everybody. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.